Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Amiga Dawn, our Star Frontiers Alpha Hawks uh, ongoing saga. Um, everyone's here today uh, except for Jazz, uh, except for Big Boom who plays Jazz. Um, uh, everybody else is here and uh, healthy. Um, so uh, we're uh, having our regular session as such. Uh, last session um, the uh, budget crew were on a uh, monorail, overhead, uh, 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 an overhead monorail um, heading to Quartz Depression for the funeral of Jack LaRange. Uh, for those who don't remember, Jack LaRange uh, was an outspoken scientist uh, who was assassinated upon arriving back on his home planet. Um, the budget crew, as we left them, had just driven off a bunch of four humans who uh, had who were doing something on the roof of the train uh, and had uh, leapt uh, and uh, with, gl uh, with gl glider jets or glid jets on their backs to us to uh, leap off the train um, the uh, the trains on the last downhill run into uh, Quartz's depression and seems to be picking up speed so guys uh, some of you are hurt yes I know and realize that um, some of you are also on the, uh, uh, sorry, in the train in the sleeping car, uh, outside your own sleeping cabins. Uh, what do you guys want to do? I mean, me personally, probably, uh, I guess we don't really have time for surgery if this train is about to go off course, uh, but some first aid would be lovely. Is there an emergency stop cord or anything like that? Uh, yeah, there's an emergency stop button, yes. I'll hit it. All right. What's everybody else doing? I think I'm That's providing what? first aid. I can see that. I'm going to be bracing. Okay, you're going to be bracing. Doc's providing first aid. Do the first aid on Cat, please, mate, if you would be so kind. What about, uh, what about Jazz and what about Vogue? What are you guys doing? Well... Uh... Jazz will uh, start headed towards the front. All right. Um, there are uh, uh, quite a few uh, passengers and crew. Oh, not now. You're not now. There's not. Um, uh, starting to come out of their cabins and out of the, the lounge and that, and f they're filling up the train. They're, they're starting to panic, basically. But that's all to the rear of you. Um, so uh, where is Jazz? I can't see him on the map. He's farthest forward. Oh, yeah. Cargo. Don't know where I. Um, yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, so Jazz is heading forward. Okay. No worries. So, um, um, Cerise hits the uh, emergency stop, uh, and nothing happens. Although, the little light above the button uh, indicating that the emergency stop has been has been engaged, um, lights up. So everything appears to be fine, but you're not slowing down at all. Is the air outside breathable? No. Uh, that's why you guys have got grabbed your mask and that. Yep, just asking. That's all right. Do I have my so, mask with me? I don't remember. Yeah, you do. Okay. Everyone grab their masks. That's why that's one reason the guys that's one reason why you're a little bit slow getting getting where you're going. Because you stopped to grab your masks, remember? So Jazz wants to go to the engine. That's Cerise's idea as well, is go to the engine. Okay. Uh, what about uh, what about you, Babu, now that um, you've braced? I'm going to yell out, I think somebody sabotaged the braking system. Okay. Doc and Ryan. Uh, uh, I don't know where my token is. It's right in the stream there. Ryan, I don't see him. Uh, I do. That's vote. That's Babu. Yeah, it's Babu. Doc, cat, followed I by the. No idea down. where my guy went. You're right there, on, in the, next to cat. Uh, that's Doc. Other side. We don't see him. Well, you should do. He's visible. Not to us. He's sec. not. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. 
That was a bad boo you said. That's cat. Oh, that's why. Hang on. Um, no, you're on. Can you? Are you in the combat tracker, Vag? Yeah, I am. I don't have a track. initiative, in the, but an initiative number, but I am. <laughs> Did you just appear on the map? No. That's really weird. Because I've got you on the map. Hang on a sec. Hold on. Hold up. What about now? There I am. Yeah. Yep. Um, just re-added you from the from the combat tracker, but you were on you were on my map, so I could see you. So uh. yeah. anyway, uh, yeah. So what are you what are you doing, and what is Doc doing now that he's done first aid, and what's Jazz and what's um, Cat doing? And by uh, the way, don't forget the don't forget the hatch above you, um, Babu, is st still open. Yep. Yeah, since we're not slowing down, I'll be heading that way. See if I can. You're climbing up the ladder, are you? Okay, all right. What about you, uh, Doc? What about you, Ro uh, Voke? What about you, Cat? Well, uh, I don't really, I don't really want to treat the guard who shot us, but I'll head up towards the engine. I could use some treatment. <laughs> all right, so you're going to go up to the guard. Yeah. You guys move Cycle the door. Okay. What about you, Cat? Cat will make sure that the guard knows this information about the uh, possible sabotage so that he could relay it to the drivers or whatever. I don't know whether right. he has comm links that we don't, uh, but otherwise be helping Babu uh, inspect the top of the carriage slash close the hatchet. All right. Is, so, is, yeah. is there so, a hole that we need to patch or anything like that? Like, how hole? bad is... Like, did they, they just, they blew open the, the hatch, right? I, no, they didn't blow open the hatch. They opened, they just opened the hatch. Ah, okay, gotcha. Yep. No, cool. they may have yep. blown up the engine room. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> okay, so you go out the, um, so Babu, you go out the hatch, uh, and, um, uh, you can't see anything. Uh, the wind resistance is, is, is quite strong, um. If you want to give me a, um, a quick search around, search roll. Um. Go with the first one. Yeah, obviously with the first one. Um, the uh, You do notice that there is an access panel on the pylon leading up to the rail is open. Anything in there look damaged, broken? Uh, uh, yeah, it looks, it, 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 there's some wires torn out, um, and there's some, um, yeah, some scorching. Uh, I think I'll tell Cerise that it looks like there might be some dam uh, sabotage up here. I don't know if so it's Cerise? a repair, but you're probably the best to do it, or both. Cerise, so, you've, so everybody's heard that, there's some damage. Um, Kat, you're, 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 you're part, part way out of the... the um, the hatch by now and and you're noticing the wind resistance is getting quite quite strong as, as the train speeds up as it's going downhill can you also give me a quick spot check cat nope uh yeah okay um so what's it what so that's cat and babu What's what are you guys doing? What are you are you turning back, Cerise? Well, what's this, what's what's happening with everybody else? No, I'm gonna tell hey, Voke, you go up and see if you can fix that. I'm gonna look for an emergency override in the engine. All right, and I'll head over to Babu then. All right, up up onto the roof. Um, Cat's on the ladder, so you have to get you have to Cat you have to go all the way out and come back down let to vote, let to let Voke up. Uh, I'll go down. I won't be you much use down? up there. So, yep. All right. Um, so, you guys are, are, are making it through the cargo hold. Yeah, um, I think Jazz can, can, I get, can, can I get both of you guys to give me a spot check, please? Cerise and, and Jazz? Yes, please. Okay. 
So I'll take the first one was yours, and the second one was Cerise, and no. Uh, no, go? the. Uh, you double click. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I double click. So the first one I missed the jazz. We can, if you want to use that role. I don't know what his is. What is it? Intuition and logic. So it would be a fifty-five. Yeah. Okay. Well, he would have missed. He would have. No, fifty-five. He would have got that. Um, jazz spots. Um, some um mountain climbing gear in the ca in the cargo hold as he's passing through it. Okay. As in, like. Climbing spikes, or as in like rope and grapple, rope and grapple, and belaying belaying D rings and things like that. I don't like where this is going. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so, uh, what are you doing? In the, so, what are you doing up on the roof now? You're waiting for for Voke to 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 arrive, um, Babu. Yeah, I'll try and to make sure doing? Voke doesn't. Uh fall off if I can help it and I'll try to All right. keep him stabilized in the increasing wind. Alright. Um uh what about you, Doc? You still you still dealing with the guard? I'm gonna encourage the guard to go seek treatment in in the <laughs> from the from the train staff. Yeah, okay. Fair You'll enough. be fine. Alright. Uh so he, he wanders off and does what he's doing. yeah, goes. Um, all right, uh, 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 so Voke, uh, you, you climb up onto the, the roof, uh, and make your way over to Babu, uh, who's hanging on to the pylon. Um, both of you realize as Voke arrives at the pylon, uh, that, um, the, the train is still, 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 in, in, still increasing its speed as it runs downhill and um, that um, before another couple of rounds or so you're gonna you're gonna have to start making um, checks before just to stop yourself being being thrown off by the wind it's getting that fast okay oh, I see and I need both of you to make me a spot check please Uh, uh, Voke, you also note that um, uh, looking ahead, um, there's a, a rather sharp bend coming up. Okay. You don't have long. You don't have long. Okay. Like. So, um, j j Jazz, uh, you make it. Jazz and Cerise, you make it through to the engine, uh, the engine room, um, the engine compartment. Uh, there is a, um, a driver there. Um, he's rather white-faced. Uh, wide-eyed and constantly um, stomping on a on a pedal, uh, he hears you open the do uh, the door up behind him. Looks over his shoulder and says, "Brakes are gone." How do you activate the backup system? It's gone as well. The pylons were sabotaged. How do we bypass? You can't. It's got to be fixed at point. So over my comm, I'll say, check the other pylons to see if they were sabotaged. And I'll reply, you better brace. We're about to take a sharp turn and we might derail. So everybody's heard that conversation about the derailing and checking the other pylons. I'll get to I'll get to you and I'll get to the two dweller sites in a second. Um, Cat, what do you want to do? Uh, she's going to make sure her mask is clearly fitted and that she has all <laughs> of her gear. Um, yeah, uh, she doesn't know any other info uh, other than it, it's going to hurt real soon. So she would find a place to brace. Okay. All right. Me too. You, yeah, you do, you do. Okay. All right. I mean, Voke, I'm we assuming... get, we're going so fast that there's no way we would survive jumping off. Oh, shit, uh, no. No, 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 no. So no yeah. way at all. <laughs> Here's a big question for you. Yeah? I'm not sure if I said I grabbed my go bag or whether I would grab the go bag just to have stuff I'm used to carrying. 
You did say you would. You did say you were grabbing it. I last thought week, I did, but session. I wasn't sure. No, you, yeah, that's all right. I have a rope in my pack. I'd like to secure us to the pylon as best we can. All right. Do you have anything? Uh, you, um, I'll need you to make me. Uh. A, 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 uh, probably a dexterity check's best one for that one, mate. And after that, if I could see if I could fix it. Unless we have, like, well, two rounds. Can't seem to get it around anything. No, you, well, you know, you, you, you've got it around things. You, you think you've got it tied, but whether it, you, but you, you don't know how effectively you've got, you've, you've got it tied. I know, and you as a player know, but as a character, the character does not know how effective um, it, it's been connected, but we'll see how we go. Uh, right, uh, Ryan, it is... Sorry, my fault. Voke, it is a... Hang on, where is it? Um, 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 um. A repair technician? Yeah, it is. I'm trying to find the stats for it. Oh, boy, Sari should have been up here. Yeah, it's a repair machinery check, but it's it's a minus twenty due to the adverse conditions. Oh, I'm gonna close I'm my eyes trying. for this one because I don't want to look. It's, it's gonna be. <laughs> oh. Did you put the minus so, twenty in there or not? Nope. No. Okay. Okay. So um, you work on the you you work on the brake circuit. Um, the brakes semi engage. Um, the train is no longer accelerating and slows somewhat, it's slowing somewhat, but um, the curve is coming up too quick. What do you two guys want to do and what do you guys in the engine room want to do? Because I know the others, the others are bracing. How long do we have? Do, I, do we have time to get inside to get down the hatch? If you're very quick and you may both make me a dex, a dex check. I, Cerise says to the engineer, can we make the curve? Oh, I don't know. Probably not, he says. I'd be, I'd be bracing if I were you. The, de the dampening field should help. So I will brace and I'll tell him to tell the passengers to brace. On, already on it, he says, reaching for the mic. Everyone I'm brace. Everyone brace. Now, well, you guys whatever the hole is that this that we were working in, I'm going to grab it with both hands and hold on. Well, it's only a hatch, mate. It's 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 it, 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 There's no room inside it. There's no ledge type thing that I could hold on to. Oh, you can hold on to it, but the train's doing well over 300 k an hour. Yeah. Which is well over um, what's that in miles? Yeah, but but we Shit should get down. inside. We call that yeah, you, fast in America. Fast. Very fast. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. About 180 mile, I think, isn't it, from memory? Um, so it's so right, fast that even down. even taking our melee weapons and stabbing them into the roof is... Yeah, you won't be holding on if you if this thing crashes. Yeah, um, get inside. So if, if both of you guys, if you both give me a dex check, please. Yeah, baboo. Baboo. Warms inside. Voke, you get caught up in the rope. Well, then uh, I'm going to take out. Let's see. Sonic weapon. Are Sonic weapons solid blade or no? Sonic weapons will cut through rope, if that's what you're asking. Then I'll cut my way out. All right. And then I need, a, I need a, and now I need a. <laughs> Are you saying he's going to die, Ben? Actually, it was a reaction speed check. I wanted yeah. to make not a dex check. Sorry. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So, um, just you swarm down the ladder just as the train hits the curve, and yes, the train comes off the curve. Okay, and. Proceeds to um, plow, uh, plow its way down the mountainside. Um, now you you missed that roll by you missed that repair roll by twenty, didn't you? Yep, I missed it by whatever the negative modifier was. 
I'm not the good technician. I'm the I'm the makeshift technician. All right. Uh, well, the train the train's doing 120 kilometers an hour, which is about um, 70, I suppose, miles um, uh, when it when it comes off. Um, so uh, obviously, uh, a, a, as as the train strikes the, the ground, the uh, impact sensors uh, trigger the uh, inertia stream. Um, um, of the of the uh, um, in each car, sorry, in oh. each car. So uh, uh, you guys only go, everyone's only going to take half damage. Um, and if you're wearing an inertia suit or a, a skin suit, uh, no, a yeah, skin suit, you you only take a quarter. Uh, so I don't think anyone was wearing suits, were they? Yeah, Everyone I am. Was. Oh, I was you. until it got shredded. I'll have to check Jazz. Uh, I think I was yeah. using a civilian one, so yeah. Even okay. though that yeah, kind of yeah, looks weird on a Drowlet. Well, uh, well, you might be you might be lucky then. You might be lucky then. Doubt it. Yeah, I I, I expect that I'm taking more than twenty five points of damage here. So, uh, uh, GG. <laughs> Oh, is that what you're on? That was that way. I thought you were talking about um, someone else dying. You were talking about yourself. Yep. Yeah, I, I assumed you you thought I was gonna go splat on a mountain. He says you haven't gone splat on a mountain. Uh, well, I might go out the hatch if the hatch isn't closed, so it's possible. No, you're down the bottom of the ladder, so that's all right. Uh, I'm looking for something, guys. Sorry. Um, Oh, there it is. Stupid place to put it. <laughs> nope. Sorry, not what, what, what I was looking for. Hang on. Sorry, guys. I've been out of practice with this. Has it... Has it what? Has anybody here played Gloomhaven? Once or no. twice. Ah, okay, then. You do it. Yeah. Carry on, then. Uh -huh. uh, what did I say? 120 kilometers, 75 miles, 200 meters. That's what I'm after. Uh, so that's uh, 10 to 10 to 10, 5 to 10, uh, 5 to 10 damage, guys, and then halve it for your skin suits. Ooh, that's going to hurt. You want us to roll? Yes, please. Lol. Bye. Is that with the inertia screen? That's with the inertia screen. Didn't you have a skin suit on? Oh, yours was shredded. So what are you sitting on um, health-wise, Cat? Minus five. So you're unconscious. You're not dead. Dead's not to minus 30, remember? Yes. Okay. So um, there's a, so you all get banged up. Uh, you can take your inertia, uh, your skin suits off, uh, have it, and yeah, you know how to do that, guys. Um, and the train comes to a stop. Um, it rolls a few times and, and you yeah. know, but eventually it comes to a stop on it comes to it uh, to a stop on its side, on uh, and the, it's the roof hatch side that it that it comes to the stop on. Funnily enough, um, what do you guys want to do? Are we about to fall off of a mountain? I'm gonna see if I can't, you know. Uh, well, that would be crawling out the roof hatch was now on the side. Now you're on a bit of a 
you're 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 on a bit of the, the lower slopes of the mount of the mountain. There's no there's no chance of you guys falling off or sliding okay. further, as far as you can see. Um, an engineering roll would confirm it, if you have engineering skill. Oh boy, do I? What is that? Civil engineer? What do you want? Um, uh, what what does uh, what are the specialties? I can't remember. Uh, well, it's probably architecture, civil, hydraulics, no. or mechanical. Probably not hydraulics. Mechanical is probably your best bet. Yeah, no, as far as you're concerned, no, no the, the train is stable. And, and it's, from what you can tell, there's, there's no chance of anything moving or shifting now that everything comes to a stop. There's a bit of snow still, there's a bit of snow still falling and a few rocks and things like that from the, the, careen, the careening. But, and there's a, nice, there's a nice plow in the mountain, not just through the snow, but into the dirt. Um, so it's pretty banged up, the train. Um, not as banged up as it would have been if you guys had um, jumped the rail without doing something with the brakes. So... Well done in that regard. I look at the engineer. Is he conscious? Uh, yeah, he was strapped. He was actually strapped in, strapped in. He's halfway up the floor, up the wall, strapped into his chair. Um, he's okay. Emergency beacon, have you triggered it? It's automatic. Did you verify it's signaling? Yeah. Yeah, it's going. See, he, he points to a flashing light on his console. All right, survival gear? Uh, no. Uh, only what? Only what's only the mask and that on board. You know, breathing mask on board. Um, yeah. You know. Over my comm, I'll, yeah. over my I comm, I'll say to the other guys, see to the other passengers. Yep, Voke will start heading back. All right. Uh, Voke, uh, you, you note Cat lying on the wall, floor, whatever. Okay. Um, she, she, she looks in a pretty bad way. I will use a status on her. Okay. And do what? Uh, uh, call for the dock on Micronicom over to our bed area. Mm. Doc, you hear you hear that cat's down and needs help. What do you want to do? Get cat, Doc. Actually, does a stem dose wake you back up? Ah, uh, yeah, but it's only temporary. Ah, okay. Okay, cat. Uh, when you reach cat, Doc, um, you can see that she's pretty bad up. She's probably got some internal injuries. She's definitely unconscious. And Voke has, uh, has administered um, a slap patch stim a stay dose to her. So you've got a little bit of time. Okay, it's for, uh, she's, yeah, she's in a bad way. She needs, she's going to need major surgery. First aid first, of course. And then I'll ask Doc for spare stay doses from his medical bag and then I'll head back to the passengers and see if there's anyone else unconscious. Uh -huh. And if there is, I'll put a status on them. Okay. So 10 points back for the first aid. Do you want to try the major surgery now or do you want to do more triage first? Because she looks, she's stable now, but she's going to need, she's, going, she's certainly one of the first ones you want to take. Anyone else injured? Uh, actually, actually, no, you're not. You're actually not awake. Stay, um, you're not awake, Cat. You're still unconscious at this stage. So, Cat is the only one who's visibly down. The cat's well, only one visibly down. Um, no. Babu looks. Uh, yeah, I'm not down. Really, really but I'm very hurt. Yeah, he's, you see that Babu's heavily wounded. You don't know about Jazz. You don't know about Cerise, and um, you're not sure about um, Voke either. Where well, Voke's. Vote's hurt, but not, Vote's hurt, but not, it's minor bruising for Vote. Okay, first aid for Babs then. That's 10 points back, Babs. You're still heavily wounded, of course. And then Vote will also do a, uh, uh, everyone check in. Cat is down. On the chronic. Mm-hmm. All right, well, 
I guess I need to start washing my hands. <laughs> okay, well, um, the calls uh, from uh, you can hear moans and groans and 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 that from up from back back towards the back of the train. Um, all the interior doors are open, and peep, some people are starting to gasp for breath as well, because the hatch near where you guys are uh, is also open. Don't forget. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, were there any external holes? Um, yeah, there's a few rents in the train. You, there's no way you're going to seal it if that's what you're thinking. Okay. I was wondering if um, I could, if it was depressurizing. I know I could just yes, close the hatch and no problems would be solved. Yes, it's okay. Then, yeah, I'll also yes, start handing out uh, breathing apparatuses as I do stay doses. Go down the train. All right. Well, there's there's several people injured down the train. Um, there's there's even a couple of people who didn't actually make it. Um, they got um, thrown about too much um, and landed on things that that, that hurt them. Um, Doc, you're going to be busy for the next couple of hours. Yay! Uh, um, uh, and I dare say it's probably worth your while to grab the others as triage people and help, and don't forget Jazz can help out as well. Um, so um, you effectively go through all your bio court helping people out, but um, the company will um, reimburse you uh, from stocks in uh, court's depression. So don't bother knocking anything off your list, okay? Okay. Um, about four hours after the crash, the first of the rescue, uh, the first of the rescue team arrive. Um, Doc, you've you've got most people stable, not necessarily healed up, but certainly stable. Um, you can give me that major surgery roll for Cat if you like, and any other major surgery or minor surgery rolls you want to give to the other party members. Um, if you like. There's your major. Okay, Cat, you're per perfect. How far, how, how far down were you, Cat? Oh, no, don't worry. Don't, it's, that's only for um, supply purposes. I just said you're going to get resupplied, so that's okay. So, Cat, you're fully healed. And uh, Bo could get uh, first aid. And Jazz Okay, this for Volk. Uh, yeah, 10 points back, Doke. And um, Babu? Yeah, Babu needs 53. Points. That's a major for Babu. Well done. And what are you, are you down, Cerise? Yeah, Cerise and Jazz are both down like 13. So, well, first aid, will, first aid will fix the first 10 of that. And yeah, then it's only three points. Why I said so first probably, aid. Yeah. That was Cerise and Jazz. Yep. Thank you, Doc. successful. Um, next question is, anyone else hurt? What about yourself, Doc? Oh, yeah. I have ouchie. Jazz will assist or whatever's better. Uh, well, you can, you, you can, you, jazz, j you can either use the auto surgeon, which can't be assisted with, or you can get Jazz to do it. Jazz. Give me some first aid, yo. Uh, yes, oh, you can always first aid yourself. That's no problem. Oh. Well, it's a chance for him to practice his, his bedside manner. <laughs> True. Yeah. That's jazz. There's your first aid back. Thank you. Are you still down? Oh, yeah. Major or minor? I have 21 down. Well, a minor will get 20 back. A major will get all of it back, but it's a 20% difference. So you might be better off doing the, just the minor and taking the, and the single point and then healing that naturally. Up to you. Uh, it's you it's been chosen for me. Thank yeah, you, I don't sir. know about you guys, but yeah. I'm doing pretty good right now. Yeah, okay. So, um, so... Uh, you're, you're very busy, as I said, uh, Jazz and Doc, um, and anyone else you rope in for triage and first aid and, and just general all, all around the place. Um, for the, the, you, you, as I said, you don't lose anyone. 
uh, there, but there are people who there are people who are going to need intensive care back at the um, uh, back at the, the, the thing. Um, you know, the rescue mission. Uh, they, 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 you know, they're cutting people out um, of 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 the train. It didn't get that banged up in terms of collapsing the carriages. No one was actually trapped as such, but they've got to cut. The easiest way to get people out is to cut through the roof instead of using the hatches. So, you know, they're cutting through the roofs of the of the carriages and pulling people out. And and you know, other medicos arrive after a couple of hours, uh, after an hour, hour and a half or so, and assist you. Um, um, they seem to defer to you, Doc, uh, because um, you know, obviously you're the senior. Yeah, you know, you're the you, you're you're the best surgeon on 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 on. Um, on star on on well not on planet on in on, on the on, in the area you know um, yeah we call it gravitas area. baby <laughs> that's the one so look um with all the work you guys do and all the bits and pieces um look everyone can take everyone can take two ex two two experience points um for 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 what they did um Voke, um and babu uh, you can e each grab an extra one. Uh, because of uh, um, you being out on the roof and, and, and helping to try and slow the, the, the train. Um, uh, uh, Cerise, can, you, can have an ever one, you can have an extra one for your leadership abilities uh, in, in, in what you were doing during the, during the thing. Um, um, uh, Doc and um, Jazz for, can have an extra one for their uh, medic, for the being, yeah, being on site and doing the medical stuff. Um, and Kat, you were one of the first ones on site when these guys started opening up, so you can have an extra one for alerting everybody. Everybody happy with that? Cool, cool. There. Yay. Yep. Uh, all right, so everyone's taken into um, the Quartz Depression. Quartz Depression's a town of some half a million, pe half a million inhabitants. Um, the breakdown's roughly uh, three quarters human, one quarter of rusk. Um, you're obviously taken straight to the hospital, as is everybody else, and given a thorough checking over, including the medicos. Doc and um, Cerise, um, you're kept in for isolation overnight. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that most of you are pretty well okay, and um, uh, it, uh, everyone gets back a point overnight for the medical care in the hospital. Huzzah! Um, uh, and then in the morning, um, under with with a little bit of negate, with a little bit of back and forth between the local doctors who want to keep you in and and your personal medico, Doc, uh, P uh, Doc Perro, or Perro, Doc, yeah, um, uh, he convinces them that you guys are right to, to leave. Um, by mid, uh, there's nothing much to do in Quartz Depression. Uh, uh, well, there is, there's quite a lot to do. Have a coffee, you yeah, know, whatever else. Your equipment is flown in uh, to a warehouse uh, uh, during the morning, all the equipment off the train. And so at, uh, at midday, um, the, the people who have been released from the hospital, um, uh, including yourselves, uh, are, are allowed to go to the warehouse to reclaim your, your, your equipment, your baggage, um, and, and things like that. Um, that takes a good two to three hours uh, sorting through what's yours, what's not, um, and all the rest of it. Um, and so it's around about mid-afternoon when you really get a chance to have a look around quartz depression. Now. Um, by this stage, word has got around of the excellent work everybody has, everybody did um, in preventing a, 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 a tragic, a, tra a massively tragic disaster on the train. Um, the humans in town are friendly enough, but they're a bit standoffish, especially when Cerise is around. Um, and there seems to be little contact between the humans and the the, the Vrusk. It's you, you come to realise, especially you, Babu. Can you give me a um? Can you give me an empathy, an empathy roll, Babu, please? Uh, psycho empathy. Yeah, that's one. A uh, quick question, Matt. The terrorists got away on what again? Glidex. Glide jets, gotcha. Hang gliders, yeah. Uh -huh. I think I'm probably wow. shook up from the uh, beating I took on that train. Yeah, yeah possibly. Cerise, so you've got communication too. Can you give me a communication, or sorry, a comprehension roll, please? It's one of your special abilities of a, of a, of a. Yeah, uh, all of whatever percent that five, is. Five, ten percent. 
Yeah, that's all. Can you give me a role, please? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. The the you, you, the 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 Vrask and the humans the Vrask and the humans seem to keep him keep him to themselves. Uh, pretty much. But yeah. You know, um. A few a, a few of the humans are yeah. You know, will congratulate you guys as you whatever you do wander around town or whatever. Um. Don't cr not you Cerise. Um. They 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 don't talk to you. They, in fact, they ignore you like you're not even there, like you're invisible. Um, the Vrasks, the Vrask around town, on the other hand, um, seem to be um, a bit more, a bit more friendly, um, especially towards you, Cerise. Um, um, they seem to treat you as the the leader or the, the 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 hero, and the others were acting on your instructions type thing. Um, it's a bit embarrassing, actually, because um, everybody did, you know, everybody helped out. With that particular little little bit deal, so that's so that's what that's the, the type of reception you get. Um, you can breathe without masks down here. It's deep enough into the into the atmosphere that you can breathe without masks. But you, if you leave town for any any you know any more than a, a couple of clicks, and you're gonna have to start using the masks again. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, yeah, um, obviously everyone's talking about the crash um, and, and so forth. Um, look, let's let's uh, just have a quick five-minute bathroom break. Is everyone okay with that? Yep. Sure. All right. I'll, yep. I'll, I'll see you in five or five-minute coffee break or whatever. I'll see you in five.
Then we go back. I am. Yep. I am. I am. Hands up, yeah. Okay, so listen, while you're wondering, why you, while you are wandering around town, um, you, um, unless, you, sorry, does anyone want to do anything in town in particular? This was where we were headed, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is where you're headed. Headed. Um, so yeah, we wanted to find out more information about the the family, about the clinic. Um, I think we need to okay. stay in separate groups, right? Uh, okay. Well, if you're going to split up, which group's going with whom? Uh, I would I... assume Cat, Doc, and maybe Jazz, and then uh, Dralocytes and. Yeah, Dralocytes and Russ and humans and Yuzirian. Since I think that that's where the racial tension groups are. Well, the racial tensions is between the humans. The humans and, and Rust, but then the Yuzi humans like Yuzirians more than they like Dralocyte. Or that's what I've yeah. picked up on. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly, certainly the Dralocytes uh, like the like the, uh, the the Rust more because they've got funny shapes. Mm. Uh. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, we're worried more about the racial or species tension um, of the locals, not about not anybody else. Yeah. Okay. So, well, who's going with whom? So, Voke, Babu, and Cerise are okay. one group. And then the other three are the other group. Okay. So Cat, Doc, and Jazz, where? What are you guys doing? Are you just wandering around town? Are you doing something in particular? Are you talking to anyone, any particular group about any particular subject? Yes. Uh, we need to figure that out. Yeah, I'm reading my notes. Hold on. Okay. Oh, cool. Read away. So anyway, while you are wandering around town talking about it, um, you uh, you come across the film crew from the train. Uh, they're battered and bruised, but they, you know, and one one of the girls has got a broken arm. Um, uh, in a cast in a sling. Uh, they were brushed, uh, right? No, one... no, no. The two the two humans were female, and the um and the rust technician was the one we did you did brain surgery on the other day. Remember? Oh yeah. Does he know he, that he had a bomb planted in him by the clinic? He, he Well, that's an accusation on your part. That's not actually what happened, as far as you can prove. Well, we all know that it is. <laughs> he knows that you saved his life, and he's very grateful uh, to, uh, to to the doctor and, and that. Um, but they say that they 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 they. They were here to film the um, the funeral, and so when they see you, apart from saying thank you for the, all you did to save their life, have you heard the new? Have you heard the funeral was brought forward to yesterday? Oh no, we had not heard. Yeah, so wasted trip for us. I thought the Still, body was on the train. No, apparently not. Apparently it was, that was a that was a decoy. They were afraid that apparently that that um, uh, uh, Vrask um, extremists would 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 would, would try and would, would would try and um, disrupt the funeral and, and steal the body. But no, apparently it was flown. Apparently it was um, flown in at great expense. Interesting. Well, okay, Doc, you definitely saw Lagrange get killed at the at the spaceport. Yeah, I'm talking about the body, not 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 the person. Oh right. Well, well, nobody spot nobody spotted a body. Nobody spotted a body uh, leaving with the with the the Glidejet guys, the guys who, who sabotaged the train. Okay. Um, because um, the, the, some of your own party members actually saw all four of them jump, and there was no body attached to any of them in that regard. Um, okay. 
So, uh, so yeah. And oh, every, every, everybody that came off the train has been identified. Um, so, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so wasted trip for us. Mind you, I suppose the, the, the accident's worth reporting on. So that's what we're doing. So, would you mind being interviewed? Uh, which group is getting talked to? Uh, well, uh, it doesn't really bother me, I suppose. Um, they'll, they'll eventually try to interview all of you at, at, at sooner or later. So, yes or no, do you want to be interviewed or not? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, I appreciate well, it, but... But, you, but you're heroes. You're, you're you're the heroes of the accident. You know, you saved many. Yeah, you know, you you're, you're, you you saved many lives. Racial tensions here are too. There's too much going on here to be put front and center. All right. Well, can we interview you back at back, uh, when we when we all get back to uh, Gaza City? Of course. Yeah. All right, we'll hold. We'll, we'll hold you to that. We'll hold you to that. Not a problem. I want to know what if they've like? heard anything about the the lights at night. Uh, what the the film crew or the or the film yes, crew? the film crew. Have they talked to anyone that talked about the lights in the sky? Never. What lights in the sky? What are you talking about? We, we don't know. I don't know. About lights in the sky. Oh, okay. Well, perhaps you might want to start asking around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, supposedly in the depression, there's been uh, around the depression, there's been reports of. Uh, of lights from maybe like starships uh, flying around and landing, which is really weird, you know. You should. And you they, should and they look at they look, they look at they look at you really strangely because starships don't land. Shuttles. Shuttles. Yeah, I knew what you meant. Um, oh, really interesting. Yeah, we might think it might be worth chasing up. They say looking at looking at each other. Anyway, thanks, thanks again, uh, thanks again, and um, when you get back to Gores of City, just uh, drop into the headquarters and and, uh, and we'll, we'll organise this interview, okay? Yeah, we'll do. Excellent. Um, uh, so, you guys uh, um, want to, what do you guys want to do now? I'm going to take my 10,000 credit chip and I am going to deposit it into the bank. <laughs> Yes, you can do that. So you spend the rest of the, yeah, they yeah, get ID off you and all the rest of it and quite happy. Yeah, thank you very much. And yeah, excellent. What's everybody else doing? I don't know. We have another um, 10,000 credit ship if they want to cash it in as well. And then we can. Yeah, I don't know whoever has it. If Jazz has it, he'll do it, I guess. Um, what, what types of businesses are here? Oh, all types. Um, it, it's a, yeah, it's a half a million, it's a half a million inhabitant, half a million inhabitants. So, you know, shops of all types of shops of all different types, um, from from you know, hardware shorts shops right through the jewelry shops. Um, you know, um, mining is obviously you know one of the one of the um, uh, industries in town, uh, but there are plenty of others. Um, you know, there's there's plenty of farms in the area. What um, about any astronomy or stargazers or? No. Um, no, nothing like that. That's all that. All that. The, the because because nobody lands here. Officially, uh, if that's what you suspect, um, all that type of stuff is over in Gosov City because that's where the spaceport is. It's all around the spaceport. Right, right. Not spaceport, but I'm looking for people who would like, you know, a telescope shop for amateurs. No, no, nothing. I mean, no binoculars maybe, but no. Again, but all that most of that stuff. So most of that stuff uh, is around the. Uh, is is around Gozov City. Um, I mean, if you really hunt, you could probably find someone to sell you a telescope if you want one. But I don't know why you'd want one. Why would you want one? Because I want somebody who wants one. I don't want a telescope. I want somebody who uses one. No, there's no one like that in town, unfortunately. So, uh, whoever had the other credit chip, is it? Is everyone good with cashing that in and then distributing the two credit chips among the party? Cash is always welcome. 
Yeah, well, it's, uh, all, it's, it's, it's yeah, always it's credit anyway. Worry. Yeah, Jazz has it. Jazz has it, so... Yeah. What, just say 3,300 3, for everybody? And then the extra 200 will hold on for other expenses, like going to the cafe. Sounds good. Getting a room for the night? Yeah, yeah. Th things like that. So, 200 for the party and 3,300 for everybody. So you 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 are going to find yourself a hotel for the night, aren't you? I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I hope so. Yeah. A nice cheap place. Well, um, when you when you yeah cheap place, I was going to get send you to the Hilton. Budget place for the budget crew. You've got twenty thousand credits between you guys. I think you can afford to go somewhere a little bit nicer. In fact, in fact. Um, for that matter, um, as you are heading around looking for a uh, looking for a somewhere to stay, um, whichever place you go into is going to give you a discount because you're heroes. Wow, this this really pays off. I said discount. Hey, I didn't say free. Hey Doc, you <laughs> want to see if you can get a job at the uh, clinic? The sanatorium. Okay, I'm up. I'm up for that. I'll Maybe wander over there. Hang on, Maybe hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This would be the hang next day. Now. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, you, you, you guys going to talk to the locals or uh, yeah, because you, you said you wanted to ask some questions at one stage. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I want to ask about well, the lights in the sky. So, who? who here, who in town would be night people who are out and about during the night? Well, the street walkers, obviously. Okay. And that's an excellent source of information. That's an excellent source of information. And the the local Rick Rick security detachment. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you look, yeah, you know, the the cabbies, the the, the 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 taxi drivers in town, you know, on night shift, obviously. Um, anyone like that. So, who do you want to go talk to? Well, let's start with the streetwalkers. Um, so you go down. The, you, uh, even amongst the street girls, um, the humans uh, seem to stick to their own area, and the Vras seem to stick stick to their own their own area. So we've got two different groups. One go for one, and the other go for the other. All right. Well, one uh, the one of the girl one uh, where the. Um, uh, do you want to talk to uh, anyone in particular, um, Jazz or Doc or Cat? Uh, and then the Cat, are you going for the Joy Boys or what? Mm, I guess so. You guess so. All right, so you walk up to one of the Joy Boys and he looks at you and goes, So, want a party? Uh, I just should be still a bit banged up, so. Oh, a bit <laughs> bruised, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, no, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the, uh, whether you've seen any weird lights in the sky lately. Nope, I certainly haven't. And if you're not going to, and if you don't want to party, I don't want, I, I haven't got time. He's very abrupt. Very abrupt. More yeah. so than you would, more so than you would. Uh, than you would um, possibly expect. Um, in fact, give me an intuition. Give me a, an intuition roll, please. Yeah, yeah. Um, very abrupt, uh, but you don't think he knows anything. Yeah, all right. Not giving a rude person money, so uh, I'll okay. be off. What? Okay. What about you, Doc? You want to try it, or does somebody else want to try it with some one of the other groups? I don't know. 
In fact, Babu, um, y y as you start to uh, walk towards one of the uh, Rusk, uh, Rusk girls, um, she looks and goes, listen, sweetie, you're cute, but I don't do kink. Oh, I'm broken hearted. You don't have a, you don't have a heart. <laughs> Actually, yes, you do, come in England. You do have a heart, come in England. It's one of the only I organs you have. got some chambers, but yeah. Yeah, you got some chambers, yeah. <laughs> so what do, you, what do you say to her, if anything, or do you just move on? All right, well, I'll keep my eyes. I'm looking for her. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll, 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 I'll kind of tip my hat to her tort type of thing and say, okay, and move on. Okay. What were you saying, Doc? I'm looking for a local bootlicker. Uh, bootlicker or bootlegger? <laughs> lick, lick. A cop. Oh, right. One of the Rick, one of the Rick security personnel. Yes, sure. Um, you come across, you, you come across one of the Rick patrols. It's a, it's a, um, it's a, it's a, 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 a an all human patrol of two, you know, guy and his partner. Okay. Uh, greetings, greetings. I'm one of the survivors of the uh, the crash. It was terrible. Yes, yes, it was. What can we do for you, sir? Well, I, I've been hearing these rumors that uh, there have been some lights in the sky or something it's very unusual so i thought i would perhaps ask the source have you guys heard of any reports about that uh no no sir uh um, i think you'll find that somebody's got an overactive imagination um, they're a little bit patronizing as you possibly could expect a couple of uh, uh, cops to be in that regard um so yeah so uh yeah no that's what they say. Right, I'll say, well, then I guess uh, it might be best that you hope you don't get injured in our need of a doctor. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> That's a bit rude. <laughs> yeah, well, you give a little, you get a little. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, fair enough. Uh, so they go on They go on with their... their it's no way to treat a hero. Well, you didn't say hero. You said, you said survivor. That's not necessarily the same thing. If they don't know who the doc is, then that's a pretty terrible cop. <laughs> I think your ego is a little bit in front of yourself, guys. It's a half it, a million. It's a half a million dollar. A half a million dollar. It's a half a million population. Well, doc loves himself. Everyone should know who the doc is. Yeah, no, Well, true. if it's only that's half true. a million, then that means that we're the big story. Uh, I don't know about that, gentlemen. I don't know about that. What does everybody else want to do, or what's everybody, what do people are continuing to, continuing to continuing to do? My spidey sense is on. Your spidey sense is always on. Uh. So you talk, you talk, you talking to anyone else or not, guys? What's Shall happening? we try like a local news media or something? I, I was going to say newspaper, is. but I don't think we chop trees down anymore. So, mm. is there like a local media? Talk to. Is there a local media source? Well, there would be, but not this time of night. Yeah, I'm. Well, I'm talking about eventually when. At at night, I'm satisfied. I've talked to, to. Two bootlickers. What about you? Are saying something, Cerise? I don't know who else might be out. I mean, wander the wander the streets at night and see who's out. You know, maybe in the parks or paramedics, firemen. Yeah. Oh, there's. I mean, there's always there's always service people around, but none of them none of them are. Yeah. You know, I mean, people that go out outside the, the city. What farmers? They'd be at home on their farms. Ah, but are there any jobs that go outside this? Because oh, we yeah. think the shuttle lights are from the uh, the sanatorium. Are over what about the sanatorium. monorail technicians? 
Yeah, or, there's some guys over at the monorail. There's some guys at the monorail. The guys and girls at the monorail station, but I mean, it's 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 night time. Most of them are a bit hungry. No, no, right. But I'm looking for technicians who would either service the monorail or utilities, things outlying maybe uh, hydroelectric dams, that sort of thing that are going to be outside the city at strange times. Well, yeah, that they'd be outside. The, well, yeah, I mean, there's there's, there's Plenty of people who work in and around the city, um, and some of the monorail technicians and people you've just mentioned would work, would work outside the city, but how will you go about finding them, is my question. They'd either be at work outside the city, or they'd be at home asleep, because it's uh, night time. You said you guys wanted to wait till night time. Yeah, I think we have to walk around at night time, right? Or travel outside. I, I don't know else how, how else to find them, or who else to find. A bar that certain professions tend to frequent. It's, yeah, yeah, and there's plenty of bars open. Yeah, I guess we can ask around if find a technician-looking dude, ask him where all his butt drink. Yeah, that's a good idea. Plenty, Guys, you know. Plenty, well, there, okay. There's plenty of bar. There's plenty of bars open at the moment. It's not that late at night, yeah. Uh, if we can't get that kind of specific information, we can just go around to the bars looking for people that look like technicians and, and ask around. People that work outside of the so city. Is that what you're doing? You're going, are, you go, are you guys going to the bars and, and buying drinks and just, gen just asking general questions? Is that what you're doing, is it? Yes. Is everybody doing that? Yes, that sounds like a good idea. In yeah. two okay, separate well, groups. If if everybody's doing okay, well, you get yeah, uh, okay. Um um generally generally if you go if if the group's going to a Vrusk bar, um generally the Vrusk are pretty friendly and and answer some questions. Um there's nothing specific about if you if you if you mention lights in the sky, um generally the the general answer is puzzled looks and and shakes their heads and nothing like that. I'll get back to that in a second. Um, if you go into a human bar, uh, the humans are the humans and the uh, the humans and jazz is okay. Uh, but if the minute you poke your head in a human bar, Cerise, the entire party is given the cold shoulder. Yeah, so I'm not going yeah, we'll 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 separate into like each no, group. No, no, go. I know. I'm just just giving you the information. Okay. So can everyone give me a personality role, please? And you may up your personality role. For one point per credit representing buying of drinks. Uh, I'll I'll spend. Oh. Are you spending any any extra credits, Cat? I'm gonna spend an additional thirty. Okay. Okay. So obviously anyone who is successful. Um, that second one should have been jazz. Yeah, that's fine. Can you, uh, and, and I want everybody to spend a further 25 credits, just as, that, that's just your, what, you, what your baseline, buy, you know, buying drinks for yourself is and things like that. So everyone can spend 25 credits just as a baseline. And then, yeah, whatever. Um, look, the general, the general information you get is as, is as follows. Um, the, the, um, Everyone's everyone's reasonably friendly, reasonably friendly. Um, every time you guys ask any of the humans about lights in the sky, they all look at you with a puzzled look on your face, um, and and get a little bit a little bit not defensive but but standoffish. Um, even if you are buying them drinks, um, for the for the, the Vrusk you talk to, um, again you get a puzzled look on 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 the, their faces. But they don't seem to get as standoffish um, as the humans do. But then again, the Vrusk seem to be a little bit less standoffish anyway. 
um, especially to, to other rus, um, and obviously dralocytes, the dralocytes as well. Um, you do luck out though, Cerise and uh, Babu and Vogue. Um, you, there, is a, there is a guy who says, yeah, uh, um, I, I saw some lights uh, um, over towards the east uh, the other, uh, the, about a, a, two, a, a few months ago. I thought it might have been fireworks or something from, from the sanatorium or, or something like that, he says. Explains for... Most interesting. So the sanatorium, how far is the sanatorium to the east? Uh, give, me, give me a second. I've got to pull up the relevant map I need. Uh, that's that one, that's that one. No, that's not where it leads. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll tell you what, when, I'm, when I rewrite this adventure, I'm certainly going to put enough links in it to buddy put it in the, you know, so it's easy to find the maps quickly. Because at the moment, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Uh, map Q, Map Q, hang on a sec, sorry. Where is Map Q? Oh, here it is. Um, oh, quite a bit, quite a fair way. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Mm. About tw about two thousand clicks as the crow flies, or about. 3,000 by road, uh, 2,500 to 3,000 by road. That's a long ways to see fireworks. Oh, yeah, but it was pretty low on the, pretty low towards the horizon. They're up quite high, the pen. It's, it's called the high peak centenarium for a reason. It's up high in the peaks. Interesting. What do people think of the sanatorium around here? It brings in a bit of money. We get a few traveling, a few, tra few traveling brusks coming through, and they tend to, um, on their way home from the sanitarium, seem to, you know, spend a, a couple of days in, in Quizarts having a look around. Yeah, but uh, tourism obviously has dropped off a bit lately, from the uh, from from its peak because of all the troubles. How have the troubles been here? They've been pretty bad in uh, Gorzov City. Yeah, we've seen that. We've seen the riots on the vid. Um, no, look, no one. There's been no physical violence in town, um, but yeah, you, know, you you can cut the tension with a knife, especially with the um, the funeral the other day, um, or yesterday. Sorry, that was my fault. Yeah, certainly with the funeral yesterday. Um, yeah, why? It was, why it, was, it was scheduled for tomorrow, obviously, as you as you may or may be aware. But you know, the family the family asked for it to be brought forward two days. Any word on why? I think to try and I I think it may have been to try and uh, lay things to rest. I mean, the Marbellans, uh, you know, they, they've got a pretty big farm out west. Um, you know, um, Do they have other kids? No, as far as I'm aware, no. The other thing I want to find out, and I don't know how to get there from here, is um, what the name of Ma Bellum's kid was and who his friends were growing up. Um, don't you have that information already? Uh, it was, we call him Curtis. Uh, Curtis. Uh, where is it? Um, yeah, I'm sure you've got that information already, mate. Curtis Mambella. Oh, yeah. 
it's yeah, cute Triss, but we we just call him Curtis because that's a lot yeah. easiest. It's a lot easier. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Um, so I mean, you, I mean, you know, you know his name. He, he's he's only only child apparently. You could you could just ask, you know, did you did this guy did this guy know uh, um, Curtis when he was growing up? Because you know. Yeah. Yeah, who did so who did you, Kurt, Curtis hang around with when he was growing up? Uh, uh, he seemed to hang around with um. Hang on, I've lost it. I've lost it. Shit, hate when this happens. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? He, he, I think he, hang, he used to hang around with the Denver kid, didn't he? He's, he, he uh, this Russ says looking over at his partner, at his drinking buddy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think he hung around with the, with, the, with with the Denvers. Oh, where do they live? They don't. Um, David moved away when he got his medical degree to goes off city, and his parents died a few years ago. Ah, I see. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Well, that's another annoyance. So All right, that's a good lead. So <laughs> yeah, it's a lead, but it's in a different city. Yeah, but it gives us the real name of um, or the born name of Jack Lagrange. Oh, he had that. His real name? Yeah. And what would that be? Curtis Mambella. No, I don't think so. Well, you could always go and talk to Mambellas. Because didn't 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 Curtis wasn't he the one thrown out of med school because of the. Um, Cult, the the rebel rebellion thing. Well, he it's believed that he fled Kratar after a Rick investigation into the hospital. No, no, but one of them was actually the Rick investigation found out one of them. Yeah, he did. It was David. Yeah. Oh, David, David or Curtis? The note on Curtis said he believed to have fled following the Rick investigation. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. But, 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 but David D, but David Diva was actually arrested. Who's, who's at one David? stage? Oh boy, this is we're all over the place. Hmm. So, what do you guys want to do? Um. Well, I think that's it for the night. And then I think we need to strategize a little bit. Okay. All right. Well, you guys wrap up and head back to your hotel, obviously. Um, grab a late night grab a late night kebab on the way. Uh, whatever. Uh, and all meet back up in one of the rooms, one of your rooms. Um, you're, 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 the, you're, you're actually in the um, Rusk part of town because uh, none of the uh, uh, all the hotels um, made it uh, in the human part of town made it very clear that Rusks were not welcome. Okay, but you do have some very nice suites for regular room prices. Cool. Um, because yeah, you you are treated as uh, you know you are heroes off the train and all the rest of it. So what do you guys? So you guys want to strategize? What do you guys want to do? So guys, the question is, is do the humans want want to try and infiltrate the the um, sanatorium? Either the sanatorium or the local rebels. What local rebels? You mean the local KLC cell? Yes, the local KLC. Because obviously, with the tension, well. They're everywhere, right? We think. 
that's an assumption on your part. Yes, absolutely. I mean, there's obviously anti-brusk humans here. So do you want to get in with them and see what they know? That's really up to Doc and Cat if they want to do that. Or if Doc wants to try to get a tour of the sanatorium or maybe even apply for a job or, you know, that type of thing. Um, as Cerise, I don't want to go become a patient. That's not going to happen. Okay, let's run through this. Um, uh, applying for a job or a tour or anything else like that, that would mean hitting the hitting the local directories and, 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 and making a phone call, uh, making a vid call and things like that, okay? Um, same with becoming a patient. If you wanted to become a patient, you'd probably have to book an appointment. Uh, and again, that would mean contacting the sanatorium and, and doing what you need to do. Um, there's, there's an assumption on your, there's an assumption here that there is a, a local KLC cell um, or even, for that matter, there's an assumption that there are anti-Vrust humans. Certainly, there is tension between the humans and the Vrusts. Um, I don't know whether I'd go as far as to say there was uh, outright open prejudice. Uh, it's certainly subtle prejudice, but that could be more from the, t the, the tensions in the fact that Lagrange was been was killed at the air, you know, killed at the spaceport, blah 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 blah. So so um, don't don't how do I say this? Don't get too far ahead of yourselves, guys. Don't assume things that aren't there yet. Um, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying these are only assumptions you are making. Yeah, so, we can act on assumptions. Though I, I agree that they're absolute assumptions. The, a couple cool. of other things we could do is try to check the grave I'm, I'm just really suspicious with all the names and the aliases something doesn't i don't remember the information but there's something in my head that says something's not right that lagrange isn't who he said he was um you could try no, to talk to his parents it wasn't lagrange yeah well talk, talk to his parents you can try that but look lagrange Le, it's it's a pretty well established fact so far that lagrange was an alias for curtis Marimbella. And you're basing that on the fact that the, it was the Marimbella family who claimed the body. Yeah, and that just doesn't sit right with me for some reason. And I don't know why. I don't remember I don't remember if there was something there or if it's just paranoia. Oh uh, some of column A and some of column B, I dare say. <laughs> What's everybody else think? What about you, Doc? What about you, Cat? Jane, space, baby. This game has always taught me that we are never too paranoid, and the paranoia needs <laughs> to come true. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be Sathar. I, I, yeah, I kind of thinking that we don't really have much other than assumptions to work on. So uh, there's no, no such thing as a not. bad assumption. So whether it leads us down the wrong path or not, I think it's at least worth considering following all assumptions. So in, in that regard, I think Cerise is, is on the right track. We should at least yeah. turn over those stones. Yeah, okay, we'll turn them over. So you've got, you've got the, the Marabellum's the farm to the west. Uh, within only about an hour's drive, apparently. Um, and you've got the sanatorium, which is two, 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 three K to the east, um, up the mountain road. So you're going to need, you're going to need some sort of transport for that. Now you did note that there was a, um, a vehicle hire place down near the monorail station. Okay. So, um, you, you know, you could do both of those, uh, um, you could ring up the sanatorium if you could find their details. You could hack the local computers if you wanted to for extra information. I don't know what's available, but you could do. Yeah, there's all things. There's, there's all those things you can do. Plus, whatever else you want to do. Did that one Vrust? Did the the uh, the news Vrust technician? Did he say he went to the sanatorium once before? He did. No, okay. he didn't. But it, 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 but um, he's he's too human female colleagues said he did mention to you mentioned to you on the train that he he had visited the senator they were worried about him uh, after he got beaten up because 
um, they were they were worried about him because he was he went to the sanatorium for stress a couple of uh, a, a, a while back. I'm not I'm not exactly sure how long ago, but a while back. And then the next day, you he was staggering around the train like he was drunk, and that's when you basically then he collapsed yeah. in the in the early afternoon. He collapsed in front of you, and that's when you went and d uh, found out he had the 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 chip and the explosive in his head, and which you successfully removed. So he didn't say it himself, but that inf that, inf that, is, that is information you have, yes. So you're strategizing in one of your one of your rooms. Are you still strategizing, or what's the story? Yeah, so we and can sorry, go I out. Cut, hang, on, hang on, sorry, and I cut you off, Cat. That was rude of me. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I was just. Uh, I, it may have been discussed when I was ducking out, taking care of Toki. Uh, but uh, did we have an idea of how rare that, um, for lack of a better word, jetpacks on those people were, and how Fly hard jets. they would be to get? Yeah. Uh, standard item on most planets, mate. It's in the. It's in the. They're in the the regular price list if you want to look them up. Um, they do take a bit of skill to use, though. Um, it's not just you know, it, it's a it's a it's not just a, it's not just a drive or a technician one skill. It's actually quite some, It's actually quite a bit higher than that. And the 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 kind of people on this planet that would have that kind of training would be Rick people? Question mark. Oh uh, yeah, certainly um, Rick people would have some of those some of those skills. Um, you'll probably find there's a there's a Glidejet club in most. Big cities. There's probably even one here in, in in uh, in uh, um, Quartz Depression. Um, it's a little bit more dangerous on this planet because the atmosphere is so you know. But I mean, it, how many hang gliding clubs would there be in Australia or in the states or whatever? So they're not quite as they're not quite as common because it requires more skill. Um, but um, yeah, Rick personnel have would would would, would probably have it. Not every Rick personnel, but certainly some of them. Um, yeah, okay, but it's it's not military training. It's more it could be amateur. Oh no, it's certainly amateur. No, it's certainly amateur stuff. I mean, yeah. you know, it's it's, it's um, but I mean, it's 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 um. How many people would have a how many people would have a private pilot's license? Uh, or a, or or a glider or, or how many people would be in glider clubs? I mean, I, I know how to fly. I don't have a license. Um, and I'm rusty as all buggery, but I could probably land a glider quite safely and fly a glider quite safely. Um, a hang glider? Never been hang gliding in my life. Um, so, you know, but there'd be some cross, cross thing. But yeah, um, originally, I mean, like para, it's like parachuting. Yes, there are military parachuters and there are halo jumpers and things like that, but, but the skills for regular parachuting would be accessible to a lot of people, but not everybody. Yeah, well, they would have, because I assume that it was where my red arrow is, was when the train was hijacked, was attacked. I haven't got, I haven't got, I haven't got the map, map up. Hang on, give me a sec. Uh, yeah, somewhere there, coming down, coming down into the, into Cause, the... Because, yeah, they would have had to last. jump off, and then they would have had to land somewhere. Yes. And then they would have, you know, so obviously they... My best guess is somewhere out to the west is their base of operation. And the farm is out to the west. The yeah, but the farm the farm's about an hour, hour away. You you don't forget the scale that you're talking about on that map you're looking at. That's um you know, that's uh an hour, so that's only like right No, 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 there. no, no. The max speed of the train's 20 290 kilometers and it takes 8 hours to cross each hex. Yeah, so the, the the farm's really really close by. Yeah, the farm's about where. The, yeah, the farm's really close. Not quite, but yeah. All right. So that's uh, okay. Two hundred ninety kilometers an hour and eighteen hours, eight hours a hex. Uh, let's call it uh, eight and um, three hundred by eight. But two. It's two. It's it's almost two and a half. It's almost two two thousand to two and a half thousand kilometers per big hex on that map. All right. That's a long way. For a base, my dude. Seriously, well, yeah, more than a... likely, more than likely, the more than likely they flew the glide jets as far as they could and then got picked up. Yeah, the the glide jets were just an escape mechanism from the high speed train. 
Yeah, you get a, you get a bit of, you get a bit, depending how you use it. I mean, how often you use the, you know, you, if you use the rocket to, if you use the, the, the rocket on the glide jet to get to, or the jet motor to get to a decent altitude, you can get eight, you can get eight, nine, ten hours flight out of a glide jet. Yeah, but you know, um, then they yeah. get picked up. If they get picked up by a shuttle, then okay. But if they get picked up by an air car or whatever, they gotta go. They gotta go somewhere. Exactly. How far from the city was the crash? Oh, uh, you, you you see that green? Have you got the main map open? Map six point one. Yep. All right. You know, so you've got the depression and the and the depression area. So the green area around Quasits is um is where you can breathe. The the train crashed just outside the breathable area. You weren't you weren't up high in the mountains but you certainly were down the mountainside but you and you're in yeah you know, you're in that area where the mountains start to move into foothills kind of sorta so you're outside that green everybody needed breathe masks um when the crash happened was so that the turn that, yeah a little bit a little bit well whatever i mean i mean mm -hmm. at that scale you wouldn't see a very sharp turn yeah. a, little, a little bit closer a little bit hang on where are you? let me put on that let me put an arrow in Somewhere there, roughly, give or take, you know. But I mean, as I said, it's two to two and a half thousand kilometers per hex. So that's what? Four, three to four thousand kilometers? Yeah, then it made sense yeah. the, the the terrorists would be based in Quasit's depression. Possibly. Um, they could have been based over in um, Barcelona and came across the, the water at you. But the point of the matter, don't forget, it, it took four hours for the emergency services to get to you. All right, so yeah, you're a fair way out, is what I'm saying. So yeah, so they could be anywhere. I mean, they could be they could be back up in in Hazmat for you know. Um, they could have a secret base in the deserts. Who knows? Um, oh, we should probably just nuke the planet then. <laughs> it's the only way to be sure. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're still strategizing in your room in, in one of your rooms. I take it. So, anyone got any other anything they want to cover off there? Well, eventually we need to do surveillance on the sanatorium, but I don't think right away. Well, if you take an explorer, you probably it'll take it'll probably take you 24, maybe 36 hours, depending on how rough the terrain and the road is, to get to the sanatorium. Is that how people normally get there? Yeah, most of them do. The, sen the sanatorium runs runs uh, when they've got passengers coming in. The sanatorium runs an air car down. Um, How long would an air car take to get there? Well, several hours. What um, tech level five do I need to be five, to fly? Five or, five, or five or six hours for an air car. An air car's four. An air car, I think you'll find, is a level four, isn't it? I think so. Uh, I'm looking. Yeah, that sounds about right. So if you can get your hands on an air car, you can probably get there in, you know, six, seven hours, depending on yeah, if you're Yeah, fourth level, sir. Yeah. So we could rent or steal an air car. Or buy one. Wouldn't. I don't know what they cost. Ha. Uh, it's in the it's in the book. Air it's car the book. is a solid uh fifty grand. Okay. That's the list that that's the book price, by the way. An explorer's twenty grand. Yeah, you got you you got hiring prices there too. I did I did say there was a vehicle hire place. Yeah, there's rental prices here. Yeah, but I mean, the explorers yeah, I don't think are. You want to take a day and a half to get there to take an explorer. Well, you might you might you may not have a choice, mate. I might as you well take an air car. It's going to be cheaper and faster. If there's any air cars available. And you don't know whether there are any, any air cars or explorers or hover bikes available. Um, because, you know, you have, as I said, there is a car rental place down near the station, but you haven't checked it out yet, if you are going to check it out. Yeah, we'll get to that when if we decide to go that route. Yeah, so we got that. We got the observing the sanatorium. We got hacking into the local files, which may have the sanatorium files there. Uh we got going out to the farm and then we have the lead all the way back in Gazorf City with his childhood friend. 
Cat, do you want to do any hacking? Are we close enough to be able to interface with the sanatorium's computers? No. Sorry, no. Not over 3,000 clicks, mate. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what, what systems are there that are available in the city? Well, there's the hotel systems, obviously. Um, there'd be the local RIC systems, um, uh, the transport company systems, um, the local, any, any local businesses of which there would be, you know, various bits and pieces. Um, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, the typical stuff you'd find in a city of half a million people. Yeah. Um, are there any systems around that, like, I don't know whether for Glyjets people have to register? as pilots whether we could well, uh, if if they did have to register as pilots then you would be looking at the local um uh the local uh government systems that would that that would be where that would the information would be, would be contained most likely oh guys obviously hey. sale obviously hang on, sorry obviously sales of glidejet the local glidejet sale shop <laughs> yeah, that's what I was, I was going to say. Either we could look at who's bought Glyjets or Glyjet Club. Maybe somebody's gone missing. Or there's just a club of human Glyjet folks. That's a good idea to look in. Yeah, I would look yeah. at the various Glyjets. Maybe maybe our Yazirian friend Jazz wants to get into some Glyjet on planet. <laughs> what skills does he need to f operate one? Tech 6. Tech six to operate a glide jet? Yep. Because it's got a, it, it's got a it's got a rocket component and rocket components is tech six. What about a para wing? Uh para wings basically only uh, tech one or drive, whichever one, yeah, drive para wing or tech one. Could of course look for mm, maybe a little bit more lowbrow stuff like uh, so if 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 the goal is to get information on the sanatorium, I mean they need deliveries of things like food, theoretically water, although perhaps water might be local. So maybe there's a company that's delivering food, medical supply. Yeah, yeah. all that type of thing. Um, so, uh, you, do you want to hit the public the public net, cat? Sure. And what are you looking for? In, this is all public information, so it's not. Yeah, you know, I just need. I just need. Uh, uh, what to, need to know what you're looking for, and I need um, one uh, one role uh, against a tech tech computer one. Look uh, up that get... David Deaver. Okay. Okay. Uh, just to gather information, yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you hit the pay dirt, pay dirt with that one, mate. Um, there's nothing, there's nothing public about David Diva uh, per se. Um, digging a little bit deeper, you do find obituaries for da for um, the Diva, John and Mary Diva. Um, they uh, they died, I said, a couple of years ago and are buried in the local cemetery. Um, you find David Diva's medical uh, um, ed education records. Uh, he was a, a a pretty well top A student. Um, went to the local high, uh, local uh, elementary and high school, uh, and then got accepted into um, um, uh, Gozor City University, uh, where he majored in um, uh, medical, uh, undergrad as a med as a medical, and then uh, uh, went on to do um, uh, uh, multi species brain surgery as his uh, specialty. Uh, there's also a uh, um, yeah, a public not a police record, but a public record of um, a newspaper report of him being arrested for anti-brusque um, uh, sentiment, uh, and uh, there's a lot. There's some unsubstantiated rumours and things about David uh, and the arrest. Uh, some apparently something to do with experimentation um, or, or whatever. Um, 
what you can't find is a photograph uh, or a vidgraph at, at all of David. Um, even when he was younger, the, 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 there's no photographs available that you can find, uh, newspaper reports or otherwise. Um, but up until he, up until he suspected, he was arrested on suspicion, never charged, by the way. Um, but uh, up until his arrest, he was a model student. After his arrest, he seems to fade out of the public record. Um, yeah. Uh, what else can I tell you about David? Well, I was going to um, say if his his pictures looked like the Lagrange we knew. Um, what about the other guy that got buried? What about pictures of him? About Lagrange. Well, yeah, if that was his name. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I need another role, please, please, cat. Again, this is all public stuff, so there's no danger. Um, yeah, yeah, you come up with a picture of Lagrange, um, and you come up with a picture of Curtis Mandela, um, and obviously there's a bit of an age difference, but it looks like the, it looks like the the same guy to you guys. So, Cat, um, is there any way to discover how his pit, how um, David Deaver's images were deleted or when they were deleted? There's no evidence that they've been they were deleted. It's just, they're just not there. Now, maybe they'll never put in. Yeah, maybe. Who doesn't have a picture in a yearbook? At least one year. Well, there's no yearbook. There's no yearbook um, for, for 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 either uh, David or Curtis, for that matter. Uh, and if you wanted to do to try and find out whether they had been removed or something like that, then that would be a computer secu defeat security role would, would give me that one. But you'd need to um, hang on. Okay. Um, yeah, there are a tra there are a couple of tr there are a couple of trace uh, meta meta file information that there were photos at one stage, but they've been, that they have that someone's gone in and, ha and has removed them from the from the net. So am I just paranoid or do I think that the dead body was not Lagrange? And that well, Deaver you is probably Lagrange. You, you talked you talked to him. You got him in you got an interview with him, remember? How difficult, Doc, how difficult would it be for cosmetic surgeries to make two people look alike? To make a double. Assuming face off, baby, face off. Face. Oh, oh! Could you lower your volume a bit, please, Doc? That was really loud. Roger. Um, it's a, just a little. Face bit. off is uh, what I said. Face off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I got that's that. what I'm thinking. Um, two best friends grew up, went to medical school together, got involved in the KLC. One of them got busted in a roundup. The other escaped. Yeah. I reckon, Doc, to get a definitive answer, I would like you to give me, um, with penalties, a logic. Uh, I think it would fall under your logic, uh, the logic uh, ability, the penalty of medica. Um, and um, what's the penalty? Yeah, I'm just trying to work. I'm just trying to think what it would be. Um, well, it's, theory, it's, theory, it's theoretical. It's theoretical knowledge, so it's going to be pretty high. I reckon it's a minus fifty percent. Uh, the equivalent of a level five, because uh, it is it is a pretty it's, it's a pretty unusual request of information. Um, so yeah, mi minus fifty I think would be or plus fifty I should say. Okay. Okay. Um, look, you 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 certainly are you you, you certainly do not have a definitive answer. Um, You'd have to have somebody pretty close in uh, physical, in it's pretty close in, in terms of physical um, features, um, and reasonably close in physical, um, in physical body, in body type to pull it off properly. Um, but you're right. No, it's not out of the. They, they, it, it's not out of the realm of possibility that uh, that that you could make a double, but they'd have to be reasonably close to start with. Well, let's um, see about middle school or, or um, 
high school teachers who know him. Okay. On the that next would be, that, that's that, that's, that's where going. I want to go. Okay. Well, if you're going to do that, if, if Kat, you're going to hack that to try and find that information out, um, you're going to have to uh, you're going to actually have to have local the local the, the hack the local education computers, which are level three computers. Yeah. So you, okay. You need to inter you're going to have to interface and then you know. So. All right. Yeah. It'll be the interface that'll be the hard part. Yeah, it always is, especially remotely. Just. Just? Oh, well, 17 percent's not bad. Um, yeah, so you managed to get into the, in, you managed to get into the local education computers. Uh, so what are you looking for? Who their teachers uh, were. A teacher or two that would know both of them. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You've interfaced it, but you, can, but you haven't been able to hack in. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, sorry, that avenue's just been shut down on you. Sorry, yeah. guys. You could well, try, we, you could, hang on, you could try doing the university computers back in Gorsov City. All right, but they are the equivalent of a level, of a level five computer with the satellite link and all the rest that you'll need to do. No, I think we should be able to just ask around and find out who the teachers were back then. I mean, that's okay. not secret information. No, it's not. You we know. That, that, you have to do that tomorrow, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, going back to the public net, uh, mm -hmm. looking for information about um, Glidejet clubs or places where you could buy them. Um, sure. Sure. Oh, well, uh, well, that's uh, technically it's two roles, but go ahead, because they're two different pieces of information. Okay. Yes, um, there is a local Glidejet, the Glidejet Club, the Courts, the Courts Depressionists. <laughs> don't ask me why they call themselves that, but they do. Um, and uh, there's also Rand, there's also Randy's uh, Randy's um, um, hang gliders, Glidejets, and uh, um, extreme equipment, extreme sporting equipment, in town. Uh, Randy's would be closed now, obviously, um, and the Glidejet Club, uh, you'd have to ha you'd have to have a go at their computer their their computers um, directly if you wanted to have a go at them. Do you, is that what you want to do? Yeah. Randy's R R Randy's Randy's has got a Randy has a business computer online. If you uh, yeah, if you want to if you want to hack that one too, um, Randy's is only a level one. Uh, but you will have to interface bypass security, um, and the Glidejet Club is, uh, runs a level two. I don't trust Randy or the club. Oh God. Let's let's uh, do Randy's first. Okay. Yeah, level one for Randy. Uh, obviously you're interfaced. And security. Yeah, obviously you're through the security. Um, basically, Randy's is doing quite well for himself. Um, um, the uh, the inventory his inventory consists of glide jets and hang gliders and rock climbing equipment mountain you know um, um, uh, uh, parachuting paragliders all that type of you know the, the extreme sport type he's an extreme sportsman sales shop you know the type of thing you know uh, helmets yeah. uh, backpacks climbing gear uh, mount, um, bungee cords uh, bungee cords um, uh, um, uh, 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 cameras, helmet cameras, you know, helmets, they, all that type of stuff. Um, all the accessories you'd expect um, in 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 an extreme sports shop, um, including some of the, including um, some uh, 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 wet uh, underwater gear, scuba gear. Um, so you need to go up the mountains or into the into the into the lakes, into the seas. It's up to you which way you want to go. Um, he's doing quite well for himself. Um, he hasn't sold. Uh, he, he sell. He, he, he looking back through his past records. Um, if you want to give me a display information role, please. Yeah. Um, he, he he makes steady regular sales to to a number of people. Um, he has a, a regular clientele, and he also has um, a, a, about. 30% 30 of his business is with people who only appear once or twice 
uh, you know, that, 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 that means they're either locals who have tried it and don't like it, or they're tourists. Uh, who um, are how many from elsewhere? How many folks on the train? How many folks on the train? About two dozen, I think. No, no, the bad guys. Oh, four. So was there a purchase four. of four? Well, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me rephrase that. You saw four people with glide jets jump from the train. Okay. Okay. So what about, um, has there been any purchases of four or more glide jets in the last six months? No. Unrelated question. You know the guy who kept cheating at cards? Did he die? Was he one of the few people who landed wrong? No, he's okay, actually. Damn it. Heard it but he's, he's, he's still in hospital, but he, he was okay. Um, no, the biggest, the biggest purchase of Glyjets in the last three months was, uh, uh, was three. Okay. Uh, to, a, to, a, to a repeat customer. Who was... Uh, Joe Smith, does it really matter? If we're going to hunt him down and kill him. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was, it was to Joe Smith. <laughs> what, other re what other information are you after, Kat? Uh, well, I mean, we were looking for any suspicious transactions, but there's a lot of noise in that, so I don't think we're going to find anything. There's a lot of noise there. Um, as I said, in the last six, uh, as I said this, in the last, nothing out of the transactions of the last six months leap out at you. And the only, re and the only reason Joe Smith's three, three glide jets um, leap out at you is because Cerise asked about it. Yeah, but it, it looks pretty normal as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, Doc is asking you to look at supply companies for the Senatorium. You're also going to look at the, the, glide, the glide jet club. Yeah, so which let's, one do you want to do? Let, let's just do the Glidejet Club first and go through the queue. Okay. So the Glidejet Club's running a level two secure computer for some reason, and Wait. you are unsuccessful. Moving on to the next part of the queue, then. All right. So public information about the supply companies. Yeah. Okay, you come up uh, you come up with a, quite a list of supply companies around town. Uh, you managed to narrow it down with an information gather with an information roll. Oh, uh, no, second display info info roll. Sorry. Yeah, you managed to narrow it down to three. Um, one appears to be um, um, uh, primarily um, dealing with food. Um, uh, one obviously deals with medical supplies. Um, and the third seems to be just gen a general, general supply company. You know, toilet paper, um, um, spare computers when you need them, um, uh, yeah, things like that. So, um, yeah. Um, Are they no, based here in town? Uh, yeah, they're all local, or 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 have local branches. Same thing. Is so. there anything? there that's out of the ordinary technology wise like super high tech type ingredients oh, or components uh, well this there's, there's some i mean there's some computer parts which are high tech there are some high tech medical equipment um you know some high tech um um you know ultrasound uh, mri thing like that not all the time obviously um but it's, I wouldn't call it out of the ordinary, necessarily. The uh, high-tech mind-controlling chips are coming in via shuttle. Got it. <laughs> uh, it's not what I said. And they're I also being it. supplied by that <laughs> one arms company. Yeah, uh, Doc, would you mind giving me a quick sound check? Checking, checking. One, two, three. Thank you. I just lowered your volume down at my end because it was still blasting my ears. Um, um, so, um, the food, there's a regular, there's a regular, uh, two to three week food run. Um, there's a regular one, uh, there's a regular 40 day, one month, um, uh, general supply run, uh, and the medical, the medical supply run seems to be, actually, I should be, make, I should be making you roll this, uh, seems to be, um, 
ad hocish, but at least once every three to four months. Yeah, right. So nothing, Doc. You, looking at the data from the medical, the medical run. Yeah, you'd expect the Senate to, based on based on what you're looking at there. The sanitarium probably got a staff of maybe two dozen and and um, uh, uh, handle maybe the same amount of patients, maybe a bit more um, at its at its peak based on the supplies that you're seeing. Um, same with the food run, you know. So, excuse me, I've just got a oh, my sneezed. Um, Good. So it's relatively undefended when we go and attack. Meh. Um, if you actually want to get into the, get into those companies and actually get pull up some manifests, that that will require that will require some hacking. Uh, yeah, I suppose if we were going to go after anyone, do you think the medical company would be the company that we'd uh, go after? I'd go after the general supply company, just because of the computer chips is what we're looking at. I think it's also lower down the supply chain. I think the meds might, we could expect at least just a little bit more security. Um, do we know the explosives in the chips, if those were military grade or if those were farming industrial grade? I, you don't know at this stage. Um, the, the explosive expert could try and tell you that, um, and or and or um, you could look up. You, you know, you could hunt for hunt for those who would supply uh, supply explosives. Um, obviously, it's not M4. It's not phosphorus and diesel. Um, that's 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 the explosive of choice for most terrorists because it's easy to get a hold of. Um, no, I don't want to diffuse charge. I want a, I want a, I want a, uh, um, uh, sorry, wrong, wrong can. There's diffuse and there's set. Under yeah, no, I don't want either. I want, I want a logic roll, please. Yeah. Um, Jazz didn't, Jazz didn't keep, um, a sample of the explosive. Um, but, um, he, he seems to recall it was, um, mid to high high range civilian. The type of stuff you would use. Well, s some farmers can get their hands on it to, to 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 blow out tree stumps and things like that. More often, it's used in mining, um, uh, and, and to, to and, and that to clear away that type of thing. Yep. Um, um, it, it it may have been even low grade military. The type of stuff you get out of a hand grenade. Um, because there's a bit of overlap around the thing, but it certainly it certainly wasn't C4, compound okay. four, or compound twelve, or kaboomamite, kaboomamite um, D19. Um, yeah, it was probably kaboomamite D14. Uh, yeah, but uh, see if any of the supply companies, like the general supply company or the medical one, have licenses to sell explosives. And then check the general supply company manifest to see if they are supplying computer chips. So it's up to you, Cat. What do you want to do? do I just got that? back. I just got Sorry. back. What are we doing? Um, you, you want to repeat that, please, guys? Uh, if you could check the manifest of the general supply company to see if they're supplying computer chip, and then maybe see if uh. Any of the supply companies have licenses for it to sell explosives? Okay. I thought we already kind of did the computer chip part, but we can do that. Well, you're, you're, if you want to get to the manifest, you're going to have to hack into the supply company. Yeah. Um, we know yeah. they're just generalized computer sh chips, but if yeah. the if they're receiving computer. Yeah. No, no, you you don't hack into the supply company. I'm afraid. Okay. He's not successful. What about maps? We want to get some topographical maps of both the the eastern mountains where the sanatorium is and the western farms. Okay. Um, you want to have a go at that? 
just whatever's available publicly should be good enough. Okay, okay, hang on a sec. Um, da, 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 do I have a map for you? Nope. That's not one. Oh, come on, doesn't that one bloody long? No, hang on. I'll get you one. Give me a second. I'll get you one. Aha! Yes, you do come up with a map. Um, uh, I'll have to uh, prepare it for you because I don't have it. To, well, I didn't think we we'll, I didn't think you were going to ask for one, so I didn't have it prepared. So I'll get one. But there is a map available. Um, actually, you don't need to see it. Um, you really don't. Um, there is, uh, there is um, uh, 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 a single road leading out um, east-ish of uh, Quartz um, and leading up into the high into the mountains. Um, it's called the High Peak Sanitarium Road, um, and it shows the High Peak Sanitarium about 700 k away as the crow flies to the uh, east southeast, and the roads. Are, uh, sorry, seven. Sorry, 2,000 kilometres away, um, about uh, 21, 24, something like that, 1,000 kilo uh, kilometres away to the east, southeast, and the road uh, winds its way through the mountain. So the road's closer to 3,000 um, kilometres. Um, there's nothing else in that area. Uh, there's, a f there's obviously a few, fa a few farms in the depression to the east, uh, which tap into the road. Um, uh, and but but once once the road cl starts climbing into the mountains out of the depression, um, you uh, the, the the there's nothing apart from the sanatorium. Um, yeah, does that help? Hopefully, it helps. Yeah, for now. I'm just thinking when we when we go to uh, do surveillance, we're going to want a plan. Yeah, no, that's fine. Well, yeah, I'll give you what I I'll give you what I can give you. What's what's yeah, relevant? Yeah. Literally, yeah. yeah. Um, so what? So you, you managed to yeah you managed to you know where the, you know where the sanator sanatorium is now, um, in terms of location between here and Quartz Quartz Depression, uh, the, the, the the depression itself. Uh, the road actually runs along the the the, the, the depression the the, the, the ocean, um, and before before it starts climbing into the mountains. So yeah. Are there any uh, tourist things or extreme sport things out to the east? Uh, there are. But um, they basically stop uh, as soon as the road leaves them. Le it leaves the depression. Um, so, you know, at this point, hang on, let me show. Let me. Basically, at that point, there is the last of the la last. Apparently, they, the base jumpers use use a bit of a cliff there, and base jump off the cliff. Okay. Uh, that's the last. That's the last extreme sport or tourist thing. There's a lookout there too. Because it looks out over the the, the depression, um, apparently it, it, it boasted out being about uh, being at that point being something like 600 feet above the above the the, the water. Um, oh, diving board. Yeah, well, um, no, they, it's a little bit far back from it's a little bit far back from the water to actually dive off it. But don't you know they, they do base jump off that off that lookout. But that's Trials the last. Balance. That's, <laughs> That's the last uh, tourist tourist attraction or whatever. Um, most of the tourist attractions seem to be in the depression. Uh, you know, there's boating and sailing and, and a few things like that. Um, so, yeah. Um, but some of the more extreme mountain climbing that happened in that, just off the depression in, in, in that area there um, because it's closest to, closest to Quartz City. And, and the Sanatorium Road is a convenient road to use. Okay. No, I just am looking for an excuse. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. I know what you do. I know what you're looking for. Don't worry. Right. Any other computer stuff? I don't think so. That feels like it. Uh, you don't want to. You, you you couldn't get in the sanatorium. Did you try to get in the the supply, the medical supply company? Because somebody asked for that. Uh no, we didn't. 
uh, we just did failed you? hard at the other one. Yeah, let's do yeah, that. You, well, you've got two others. You've got the food and the, you know. Uh, let's go the medical first. Okay. Uh, yep, you're into that one. That's okay. Uh, give me a your interface. You can give me a bypass security. The security on this one's a level four. Nope. Yep, sorry. Um, you, the security keeps you out on that one. Um, obviously, it's not surprising for a security four on a medical co on a medical supply company. That information is obviously more sensitive. Um, do you want to try, try the food the food mob? Why not? We'll fail that again. Uh, the food one's only a one, so you've interfaced it, but it does have a level one security on it. Okay, uh, and a display info, what are you looking for in particular? How often are the supplies, how often is the delivery? We know that already. Sorry. Uh, yeah, what are we looking for here? I guess we don't we, know exactly what is being delivered, so that would probably be what we're looking up. Okay, sure. Display info level one. I assume this is Not pretty boring, problem. giving its food delivery. It is. Um, you do actually spot, though, um, in the last week, like a week ago, seven, eight days ago, um, there was a note, a a effectively a memo from, uh, let me get his name, because you, you'll, you'll ask me for it sooner or later anyway. <laughs> um, uh, from a Dr. Martin Boot uh, of the High Peak Sanatorium saying that, uh, the, del that, that the delivery next week um, is, uh, and you know, uh, it's, only, it's only a short delivery too, it's, it's a lot less than normal. Uh, will be the last one until further notice. Huh. And it doesn't explain and why? That, uh, no, it just says, uh, it, it, it says, uh, thank you for your, yeah, thank you for your, your uh, business over the last, you know, X number of years, however long the sanatorium's been there. And it's, it, it's, a, it's been a long time. And the food requirements have been pretty steady. Um, it the 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 one that went up last week the one that went up last week was um, was uh, a short delivery, and this one's a short delivery, uh, the one that's due out on um, uh, in in next week, um, and um, and thank you for your custom. Um, the, the sanatorium will be shutting. Uh, it basically, says it's shutting down uh, for an extended period of time. Uh, we hope to uh, we hope to restart soon, and we'll. Um, We'll um, uh, um, patronise your we'll patronise your business when we do. Thank you for your for your for all your business over the years. That type of thing, you know. Nice. High Peak Sanatorium was opened by Doctor Boot. It was opened by Doctor Boot. Uh, Martin Boot, I think his name is his full name is. Yeah. Oh, did he go to school with the other two, with David and? Curtis? You have now, well, I don't know. Have you looked me uh, I think we tried for that. Um, we just, we also, that was really difficult to figure that out because, well, we didn't have their medical background record. Since that's at different hospitals, we don't know what hospital they went to do their residence. There's nothing stopping you looking again, of course, on the local net, but, you know. Hmm, we'd... Would that be uh, public information or would we have to be going to... Well, you have to start with public, best place to start with public information, obviously. Yeah, uh, Dr. Martin Boot, uh, principal um, psychologist and uh, um, uh, director of the High Peak Sanatorium um, of uh, Quartz Depression. Uh, it's uh, and of course that re that that links very quickly to the High Peak Sanatorium, which is a convalescent home specialising in stress alleviation therapy for Rusk 
uh, located in Course Depression and run by uh, Dr. Martin Boot. <laughs> Oh, by the way, for your record, sorry, just give me a sec. Uh, didn't go far enough. Um, the sanatorium is about there-ish, give or take, if you want a rough idea. Okay. On the world map, sorry, if you weren't looking at it. So, in the uh, so, is it, uh, do you want to keep going with the searching, or what are you doing? Um, it always feels like a bit of a waste of time because uh, I either fail on the good information or. We'd find what we already know. Um, so, no, I'm done. Okay. Now, are the public information you're after about any other topics? Don't think so. Okay. So, that, so you, that, that's a couple of hours worth of searching on the computers uh, while you're all looking in, looking over Cat's shoulder in the strategizing room. Do you still continue want to strategize or do you want to do something? Or, or do you, I mean, yeah. Or are you done for the night and want to move on to the next morning? <laughs> Up to you. Well, we can always come back. Yeah, I can't think of anything at the moment. All right, well, you're calling a night, um, and next morning um, you all get together, and what's the plan for the day? Because at one stage you were talking about looking up old teachers, at another stage you were talking about talking to the Maraberums, um, at some stage, you were talking about uh, going to the sanatorium and scoping it out, um, and there was some other, some other stuff you were talking about doing as well, which I've forgotten about. So, wh what's the general plan for the day, guys and girls? The key, the cat, doc, and jazz could go to the Mirabooms to pay their respects because they traveled on the ship with him. Blah blah blah. The others of us could go to the high school and find teachers. Sorry, so that's what you're doing? Yeah? If everybody agrees. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right. Sorry, I'm eating mud cake. It's very nice mud cake, too. Um, so who do you want to do first? You want to do cat? You want to do cat and the doc and, and jazz first? Okay. All right. Um, so um, apparently, uh, you you already know the Marabarum farms um, out, out to the west. Um, um, uh, about an hour's about an hour's drive out. How are you going to get there? Local heroes need ride to nearby farm. Uber. <laughs> Uber does not exist, and the cabbies don't go out that far. Um, let's find, well, you guys should go rent, rent a car, a hover car, probably. Uh, or, can uh, they can't drive. No, I don't think any of us Well, looks like I'm coming with. Alright, so you're going with them, are you, Vogue? Yep, well, I mean, nobody else can drive, but I can stay in the car. Yeah, well, just wear a blog. mask. You're only a blob. Yeah, but, you know. Or just yeah, stay behind them, know. you know. Yeah, right, whatever. All right, so where are you going? You're going, to the, you're going to the vehicle hire place, are you? Yeah. And we'll see about air cars and explorers as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, when you get the air car, when you get the air car uh, establishment, um, it's uh, run by um, a, a human. Um, and he's, uh, what can I do for you? What kind of vehicles you got for rent? Oh, all sorts. Where you uh, just just around town, or are you gonna go out, uh, or are you gonna go up into the mountains or out, outside of town? He said. Oh, uh, 
So, uh, just outside of town. Of Little of both. Little yeah. uh, In that case, an explorer is your best bet. Um, I can hire. I can. Uh, somebody. Does somebody have the price list in front of them? Save me looking it up. Yeah, the explorer is seventy-five plus two hundred a day. Yeah. No, an, exp an explorer is a hundred plus two hundred and fifty a day. It is. It is here. Huh. You're gonna be on. You're gonna be on roads. Do you need an explorer? No. We is, need that is that your right hero on. price? That's my standard price. Yes, I that's not what I'm I asking you. I don't have a hero price. He says. Even though we've saved most likely some of your neighbors. I have a single price. It's two hundred dollars and and uh, a hundred dollars, hundred credits. It's two hundred credits and hundred credit, two hundred credits and hundred credits a day. And you pay for all repairs, including write-offs if you write if you write off any of the vehicles. He says, which is pretty standard, really. You know, there's nothing special about that. Well, are we going to go to survey the sanatorium? Anytime soon, or should we just like get a uh, probably a ground car? Well, you can ask him. We're just looking to visit some associates out in the farms. So, do we need a ground uh, car or could, a hover car? Yeah, you could get away. You can get away with a ground car if you're not going up in the mountains. Then yes, you can get away with a ground car. Is what he says to you. So, what's a ground car? What's the price? On the, what's the list price on a ground car? Mate? Fifty plus fifty a day. 75 plus 75 a day is his price on a ground car. It's basically a Humvee or a four-wheel drive uh, is what he's showing you. Um, some of the roads out, he says some of the roads outside of town get a bit rough. You'll want, you'll want the extra clearance. Yeah, this, it'll work. Okay, is so. There an, is there another establishment? For vehicles? No. Yeah. No. Not, there's, there, is, there is for sales, but not for, not for hiring. Okay. So, do you want to? What was I saying? Um, so, uh, how many how many days are we talking about? Just just the one day? Just the. Excellent. We'll knock off that price. So that's one hundred and fifty. Mhm. Mm so we'll uh, take that out of the you. the party fund of two hundred. Yeah, yeah. He gets he gets you to sign he gets you to sign some paperwork, some waivers, some. Guarantees, you know, they typically, if you've, if you've ever hired a car, you know what you're going through. Um, it's pretty quick, it's pretty quick though. Um, takes about an, a, a, a half an hour just to get it all sorted out with IDs and cross checks and all the rest of it. Um, and um, yeah, it delivers you a, and, and then takes you out to a, a to a Humvee like vehicle. Um, nice big four wheel drive, seats seat seven, um, has an has a even has a, a sunroof. Um, uh, and uh, thank you for your business. Uh, please have it back by ten, by the equivalent of 10 a.m. tomorrow. That's what he said. All right. So where are you going? You're going out to the farm, are you? Yeah. All right. Well, the farms. I said the farm's about an hour out. It's not too hard to find. Um, it is dirt, dirt roads. By the time you get out there, uh, some of them have got some decent potholes. You're, you're glad you didn't get a sports car. Uh, put it that way. Um, uh, there were no hot. There were one thing you note. There were no hover vehicles in the lot either. Oh. Uh, no air cars. No hover vehicles. Just ground cars, um, and um, a couple of explorers. Um, so just thought I'd mention that. Um, there's a typical, you know, uh, keep stay away. Keep, you know, keep off trespassers will be uh, will be shot type thing. Um, they're growing a um, they're growing one of the local crops, one of the local grain crops uh, on the farm. Um, as you enter and drive up towards the farmhouse, the farmhouse could use a coat of paint. Um, it's not right, not necessary. It's not necessarily in, in in need of repair, but it does need a coat of paint. Um, and uh, and you pull up somewhere in the front yard, I'm assuming. And there's the typical outbuildings you'd expect to see on a on a grain farm. You know, silos and sheds and things like that. Uh, there's a couple of uh, a couple of dogs. Um, uh, race up towards the car. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, big dogs, uh, farm dogs. Um, what do you want to do? 
car. Encouraging dogs to take a piss on the car. <laughs> How do you do that? Ask them. Come on, boy. So you're getting out of the car, eh? Do they look aggressive? Uh, they look farm dog aggressive. They don't think, they, you, you, they're not junkyard dog aggressive, if that's what you mean. Okay, yeah, I'll get out of the car. All right. Well, they stand there and bark at you and try and intimidate you and, and, and eventually. Um, and, I don't uh, know, and the dog's a pacifist. Uh, it might work. Mm. Uh, anyway, um, after a, f a few minutes, the uh, um, an older gentleman um, who looks um, quite a bit like Lagrange um, uh, comes around from around the around the house. Hello, can I help you? No, it's you and it's Cat and Doc. Follow your. Uh, Cat and Doc are still in. Uh, Cat's still in the in the in the in the. Oh, he's in okay. The boat. Yeah, still in the still in the car, aren't you? You haven't told me you've gotten out yet. No. Right. Well, well, my character would know, but. But Paul sadly does not. I think we're looking for Marambella, right? Yeah, that's me. What can I do for you? I'll introduce myself. Yeah. Medical he hero. Wanders, he, <laughs> he wanders. He wanders over. He wanders over and sticks his hand out. Okay. You shake hands. Yeah, well, CV19M. Yeah, key. Uh, what's the, what do you mean CV19? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, he calls the dog. He calls the dogs off. Oh. What brings you out to my farm? He says. Well, we were curious. Curious about what? Come on, come on, son. I haven't got all day. Local. Remember, you were going to say you met him on the shuttle. You wanted to come out, pay your condolences. I'm assuming that's Jazz saying that. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> we apologize. We missed the funeral. We didn't realize it had gotten moved up. Yeah, we were busy <laughs> saving people. Give me Sorry, we couldn't save your son. Are you, Are you saying you wanted a roll from Jazz? No, no, no. What I want, I'm, no, I'm looking for something. I'm, not, I'm looking for something I need. I feel like Doc just talks to his patients while he's doing surgery, and they never talk back to him, so he never gets put off from all of his bad jokes and all of his bad mannerisms. Yeah, he doesn't really care, actually. Okay. Um, so, uh, Legra um, Marabellum looks at you and then cocks his head sideways and looks at you and goes, you said you're on the, you said you're on the shuttle that came in with, that, that Jack uh, came in with. Yeah, yes, most sir. unfortunate. Right, he says. I think it's time you left. Well, a most unfortunate turn of events. We were hoping to pay our respects. It seems as if that's not an order. No. In which case, you can keep them to yourself. Get off my land before I set my dogs on you. Go on, git. He turns quite hostile. He's hiding something. I, I get it. I, I done be getting. You done be getting. All right. Yeah, Jazz will leave. All right. Well, Vogue? Yep, and we'll drive off. Okay. Uh, the, 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 the farm is about 50k out of town, by the way, just to give you an idea. Uh, so where are you headed? The closest um, commercial establishment. Gas station, Qu market, feed store. Quasit City. Quasit's depression itself. The city itself. 
no farmer supply out here? Nope. It's all in this in the city. Uh, then I guess suppose we head back to the city. No. Yeah. Okay. Now the, you guys in the city, uh, which was uh, Cerise and I forgot. Bab Babu. Babu. Sorry, Cerise and Babu. Uh, what were you, were you? What you guys were doing? What, what were you guys doing? Trying to find the teacher at the that we could talk to at the high All right. school. All right. Well, why don't you both give me a um, a persuasion a, a personality role? Okay, Babu, you managed to sweet talk. Well, you managed to sweet talk the <laughs> uh, the local the local drama site uh, receptionist at the at the high school. Um, into uh, um, giving you some, uh, giving you the name of um, uh, Curtis, uh, Curtis's, um, uh, um, and David, David's um, teacher uh, in uh, in junior high, uh, and the one of the same. Uh, well, they were classmates because they're about the same age. Apparently. Uh, but I'm saying it's the same teacher or same teacher. Yeah. No, okay. no, same teacher, same teacher, uh, and, and give you and give you the address. Uh, in town. Do you want to wander over there, you two? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, apparently, apparently, um, she's a human. Uh, so, do you want to wander over there, Cerise, or not? No, I'll let uh, Babs go. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, Babs. Right. So, yeah, you 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 wander up. It's a it's a it's a typical school mom sweet little cottage. All right. Uh, but but around the back there is a shed. And there is a um, uh, quite a quite a muscle car half in half in pieces in the shed. Interesting. Ah, uh, knock on the door. Um, uh, there's a um, um, uh, a gentleman, a human in his in his late forties, maybe early fifties, uh, comes to the door. It doesn't open the screen door, but through the screen door says, "Yep, can I help you?" I was looking for Miss the teacher's name. What that we yeah, got. I didn't give it to you. That's right. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Ma, there's someone at the door for you. He's he. Hang on. Sorry, Dad. I'm I'm doing. I'm gaming. My father heard me outside. He thought <laughs> I was talking to him. Uh, <laughs> Um, I got my oh, I got my door open. You see, to the to the room I am. I got a gauze on the door and keep the flies out. Um, anyway, um, hey Ma, so there's a there's a there's, there's a there's a drowler side at the door for you. A drowler side? What the drowler side doing knocking on my door? I'm just looking for information, ma'am. And she and the lady, she's quite a nice old, uh, you know, quite a pretty uh, old lady. Tippy, again, typical school mom who's retired on a on a cane. Um, comes to the front door. Well, invite him in, Jethro. Don't be so rude. Come on in, young man. Uh, uh, thank and you, thank you. Jethro opens the door and, and uh, she, she goes into his, her front parlour, basically. Would you like some tea? Oh, some thank tea? you very much. Yes. Jethro, make up the some tea. You know what to do. Yeah, Mum, all right. Jethro wipes his hand on a, on a dirty rag he has in his pocket. It looks like Jethro might have been working on the car. Um, now, what can I do for you? What's your, what's your name, young man? Ah, oh, my name is Babu Johnson. I'm. Yeah. I'm assuming you are you, you are in your man phase. She says, your male oh, yeah. phase. Yeah. 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 If it's not a rude que if it's not a rude question. Yeah. So what, what brings not, what brings um, like sorry yeah go on. yes. Uh, so um, what what brings a dralocyte? We don't see many dralocytes around here. The only dralocyte in town's young uh, young Miss Miss uh, Miss I can't think of her name now over at the school. <laughs> oh, very nice. Did you teach her too? I did. Uh, no, no. She she came in. I don't know where she came from. She came in just as I was leaving. Uh, oh. She's always been a receptionist over and an admin officer over there. Ah, uh, yes, the yes. She is a very sweet lady. Or Dralocyte. Of course, she says with a knowing look in her eye. 
Uh, Sorry, what what can I do for you? We're trying to f find out more information on the, the sad events of uh, somebody help me with the name. Uh, Jack Grange or Curtis Marimbo? It's the same guy. Curtis yeah, and Deaver. Uh, well, no, Grange is the one name known out here, though, right? But no, no, uh, no. Lagrange is, in, is the, how he's known internationally. He's an international scientist. Don't forget, he won a prize. He won the equivalent of the of the Nobels for some of the work he did. Um, but, but what was uh, the name in school here? Uh, Curtis. Uh, Curtis. Yeah, Curtis. Curtis Marimba. Yeah, Curtis Marimba. Yeah, we we were. I was, you know, trying to be, get here for the uh, uh, funeral for Curtis, but. You know, due to the train wreck, which we had to, you know, try and get as many people yeah. off that train and and taken care of it, it was we were too late for the funeral. Well, the train was too late for the funeral anyway. The train yeah. was gotten in the day after the funeral. Yeah, yeah. that was a tragedy. That was a tragedy. That train, that 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 train wreck. Still don't know what caused it. It's a terrible thing to happen. No, it's terrible. Terrible. Yeah, very. But who's who's I mean, who's? That doesn't me? happen too often, right? Have the first time it's ever happened, as far as I, yeah. you know, as far as I can remember. Who's who's we? She says. Oh, friends of mine that we we came here, and we were we were working you, with a CNN a... reporter, and we're just trying to get some background information for CNN way back out of here. So you know, just. Just information in case, you know, they call on us for more information or some more specifics. Just general well, background. Jeremy, yeah, Jeremy comes in at this point carrying a tray with a, with a teapot and, and a couple of, um, you know, sugar and sugar yeah. and things. Cool. Pours you, uh, how do you take it, he says. I don't know. How do I take it? I don't know. It'd probably okay. be the way mom did served it. Well, it would probably be cream and a little bit of sugar. All right. So he pours two cups, and hands one to you, his mother hands one to you, and then says to his mum, "Do you need me, Ma? Do you need me, Ma? I've still got to, I've still got to get that engine put back in." Oh no, yeah, it's, it's you're all. You're the one with that muscle car out back. Yeah, yeah. Ride. Yeah. You can come out and have a look after when you finish with mum, if you like. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So can I go, Mum? Yeah, go and get out of here. Oh, uh, young lad, now, with a you... nice car like that, you know, it, it's all on their mind. <laughs> yes. So, well, I don't know much about about what's going on, but I mean, you know. Well, I was. Awesome. We were trying. You know, like I said, it's background information, so. It, yeah, you know, what do you remember about him in school and about you know, Curtis? Friends, yes. Oh, he was an all right student. Actually, he was one of my better ones. Actually, I was, I was uh, I was quite proud of him when we found out that he'd won the. Uh, I can't think of the oh, name yeah, of the prize. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Still, still, I don't. I know mean, why you, he, I you expected it from the way he was raised and and grew up here, right? No, actually, I didn't. Uh, he was always raised to work hard on the on the family farm. It was a uh, it was a real slave to his parents. Not mental then. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I, was, I don't um, want to call a genius like that dumb, but you know, more so. No, he wasn't the physical. Oh, he was never. The... Yeah. No, he was never dumb in that regard. He was always a bright lad. Him and him and David both, but. Uh, it was a. It was. Oh, a, that's uh, David. Uh, friend of his, yeah. David. Dean, I had his yeah. name. Let me check my notes. Look through David my notes, David. see if I can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, two, think of Steve's those two. <laughs> real, real, uh, sh real shame. Real shame when 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 David was arrested. Um, real why shame. Was Mr. Okay. Why was David arrested? Oh, uh, look, the divas were all. Always... I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't want to pry into personal things. It's just, you know, like you said, a shame that that would happen. 
I, I'm just not. I, I'd seen somewhere where there was an incident like that, but I didn't know the specifics or the like details behind it. Mm. You want to, you want to, you want to know your best bet in this situation at the moment? Uh, I think I can either go with empathy. I would, I would, I would or... shut up and let it, let her. I would shut up and let her talk if I were uh, you. Okay. Oh dear. I'll take a sip of tea. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, the Divas were always pretty, pretty strongly anti-Rusk. Uh, and David obviously uh, took up, took up, took after his father in that way. Um, he wouldn't, David wouldn't play with any of the, the Rusk children and, and, um, and, uh, Curtis was, the, Curtis was the same. Um. There was never any any physical violence, but I, you know, some of the things that were said in the playgrounds occasionally was a little bit rough on both sides. Um, I never had to break up a fight, for example, um, but I had to. I did have to pull them all in line occasionally. Um, wasn't just David and Curtis of Curl, of course, but they're the ones that stand out in that regard. So yeah. Um, it was a shame when the, David's parents died. Um, why, David was. Why, why do you think there's this animosity between the two races? Well, if you listen to all the, the all the conflab around the place, it's because uh, you know, some of the humans are saying the Rusk are taking all the jobs and taking all the money. Uh, you know, I think I think the Rusk are a good thing personally. Uh, they've uh, they've you know the colony. The, co the, the colony and the planet was on its way out uh, before the, the Rust came. Um, so, yeah, that's what she, you know. But, uh, you know, the, all, that, the, all that trouble, all that trouble at, at, Gozo, at, at, at the Gozo City Hospital, um, you know, David was wrongly arrested. Well, he must have been because they didn't charge him. But, I mean, that soured him even more, so... He wasn't here for when he's, he wasn't here when his parents died, which is a uh, yeah, a, that's a real, always a, a shame. Real shame. Mm. So yeah, but Curtis was always the Curtis was always the <laughs> the leader of the two, if you want to call it that. Uh, he was always the one. Uh, he was always the one getting into uh, getting into uh, mischief uh, around town uh, with it, with you know with David and, and a bunch of the other kids. Um, so, uh, I don't know what, you know, it, it, was a, it, was a, it was a complete shock when he showed up uh, uh, the other day um, and then was gunned down. Uh, I know he had some strong views, uh, Curtis, but, you know, I mean, I mean, even to cremate him. I mean, nobody cremates anyone here on 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 uh, Qatar. It's it's not, it's not what we do. But his parents insisted. So yeah. I don't know. Terrible situation. Terrible situation. And she rambles on and rambles on and rambles on. Uh, do you want to inject anything? Or I don't know, guys. Am I missing something somewhere? Well, we thought we were transporting a body, not ashes. We thought the train was transporting a body, not ash. It was well, so it, well, it wasn't because even it, yeah, um, that it was cremated. It was cremated at the funeral. Oh. According to Miss Appleworth, for want of a better name. Miss Apple. So what do you want to do? You want to finish up your tea and leave, and or what do you want to do, ba or Babs, or you want to? Oh, I, I think I I would finish off the tea at least, and thank her very cordially for the uh, the interview and the tea. And uh, ask her if she might welcome, I pop out back you're... to uh, Jet. Is it Jetro? Yeah, Jetro. And yeah, well, she she, she leads you out. She, she, yeah, she leads you out the back. Uh, uh, you know, you're welcome, young man. She leads you out the back, and Thank she you. says, 
I hope I hope your uh, I hope everything go, works out well for you. She says. Um, Thank you. I do. Anyway, Jethro, I think it will. So Jethro's got Jethro's got um he he's got the the engine block out of the car on a on a tripod hanging over the thing and he's he's tinkering with it. He looks like he's about to put it back in. Um, it's a very nice muscle car. Um, yeah. Uh, ground car, obviously. Um, yeah. yeah. Nice. Sixty four so GTO. <laughs> something like that. So you finished up with you finished up with Ma, he says? Oh yeah. Yes. We just did some background information. But I couldn't help who, seeing this beautiful who? car up back here. Who are you asking? Oh we about, were we were, we were trying to get uh we we call it filler information. Um we we were contracted with GNN when he you know, we got here to just to provide flavor information for the planet so that whenever they do a story about it they have things they can pull out to you know okay make okay. it sound like they know what's going on here i mean they probably don't but you know it, it produces like yeah no i, I know they I, yeah i know what you mean i know what you mean all right well this is my baby he says and he sh you know he, he rattles on for a while about the car and talks about the muscle car muscle ground cars and things like that so yeah yeah How long are you going to spend with him? So, what I was to ask you about the the two lads, uh, Curtis and Dave. Curtis Mandela and and David Diva, he says. Yeah. Looking at, you, look, yeah. looking at you very sharply. What do you want to know about them for? Well, tried to come back for Curtis's funeral. You know, he was supposed to, the body was supposed to have been on the train, and the train wrecks, and we missed the funeral by a whole day. And yeah, the body was apparently the yeah. body was flown in. Yeah, you're not that, you're not one of those you're not one of those bug lovers, are you? No, I mean, I don't have anything against them, but you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, look, um, the body, yeah, the funeral was held the day before to try and keep the media away. And if you're saying you were the media, uh, then, then I, yeah, I, 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 that's and it a worked, good thing. didn't it? It did. It did. I don't know anything about. I don't know what happened with the 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 train derailment. That that's you know a terrible thing to happen. So it's a shame some people died in it. But uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so, so, but yeah, so. You don't suppose that was anything to do with the uh, the problems back in the city there? Do those problems even poke their head around here? No, things are a bit tense. There's been no outright violence yet. But, you know, quite frankly, I think I wish the whole thing would blow over and we can get back to normal. Unfortunately, I don't think we are. I think those stinking bugs are here to stay, unfortunately. They've been here long enough and there's nothing we can do about it. Still, you know, if, 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 if what they if what they said Kurt, uh, if they what they said David did back in Goville City was true I mean you can't have that that's wrong you can't do that type of thing yeah and and yeah but they they said there was no proof either so I mean why would yeah, why the, would you well you stop he was him arrested. doing something if he wasn't well I mean he was arrested yeah they never charged him so right that's what I mean I mean you can arrest anybody for breathing, but if you don't charge them or don't prosecute them, then you really had no reason to arrest them, right? Yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't like the I don't like the bugs any more than the next man. But uh, yeah, you can't experiment on them. That's that's just wrong. Yeah. That's just wrong. Young man, young man. And me or that's you. Uh, there's Mrs. Apple Applethwaite, whatever her name was. She's at the back door. She's um she's got the she's got a a, a book in her hand. Oh, a book pardon in me. Arms. I'll wander back over. I found a photo of the boys from the oh. from from the class. Have a look. She says, and he opens up, and there's a it's a class picture. Um, and down one end is some brusque, and up the other end is some humans, and you know there's more there's 
about 75% human and 25% grass skin and scattering of boys and girls. That's that's Curtis, she says, pointing out um, a guy to the extreme right. And right next to him, that's David. They're as far away from the brusque as they can get. Right. But they were still yeah, that's by... right next to each other, weren't they? And they're right next to each other. And it is obvious that Curtis and um, David are not the are not they're not similar in size, facial features, or otherwise. Um, one could not pass for the other, even with surgery, unless it was so body, radical. Body that, body types are different. The body types are different, and all the rest of it. I mean, I mean, yes, I mean, is it out of the realm of possibility? No, it's not out of the realm of possibility, but it's so far down the stre- down the stretch that you doubt there'd be any, there'd be more than half a dozen people in the entire frontier who could pull off who could pull off the medical. You know, they're that far apart. Okay. Uh, and it's obvious yeah. to pick out which ones. I mean, you've seen. I mean, you 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 yeah. saw, you saw um, Lagrange. You know which one. And it's obvious. It's obvious that Lagrange looks like Lagrange. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Is it possible to get a copy of this picture? Do you have a? Do you have your pocket secretary with you? Uh, you own a pocket secretary. Have it. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's got a camera on it. If she doesn't mind, I'd lo- I'd love to have a picture just. Safekeeping yeah, and remember this time I had yeah. with you. Yeah, okay. Uh, she looked. She was quite a striking uh, lady in her time too. I might have. Yeah. I was raised with humans, so raised by humans, so it's not something out of the ordinary for me. Many, uh, many a schoolboy crush must have been had in in, in its day, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. So what are you doing now? Well, head back to where I, Cerise is, and then we'll mm-hmm. head back. Well, tell her what I ha- what went down, and then uh, get together with everybody else to describe what went down and see what we caught out of it. All right. Well, the guys the guys arrive back in the Explorer after a couple of hours, which is what it takes you guys to do what you need to do. So you all arrive back pretty much at the same time, uh, give or take, um, grab a bite to eat from a local food place and sit down and discuss what you've all, dis- all, all, all been uh, discovering today. So what do you want to discuss? You know, do, you want to, do you want us to do another strategy session? Yeah, what do you want to do, guys? I don't know. I'm, I'm... That's interesting. Experimenting on Brusque. So you've got the photo. You know the photo. Is, you've got the photo of the, of the, of the class. Back in the day, and as I said, it's obvious that David and Curtis are two different individuals, and one could not pass for the other. Yeah, that experimenting. And Curtis looks like Lagrange that we know. I mean, in a younger form. Obviously. Um, How and about Lagr- David? And... Does he look familiar in any way? No, he does not. You've never seen anyone who who could who you would miss who you would think that. Um. Uh, obviously, Marimbella's uh, Marimbella's senior, Marimbella is obviously Lagrange's father or, or Curtis's father. Uh, it was that you, you was that was quite obvious. Doc and Cat and and Jazz. Um, so yeah, experimenting on Rusk though. That's the rumor. I think we make an anonymous drop at the local media that says. Local ground dealer rips off heroes. <laughs> Anonymous. God, you've, got an ego. you've got an ego and a half, Doc. No, yeah. with an ego like that, you would not put it anonymously. No, no, it's anonymous. Oh, dear. So what do you want to do? What, what's, what's the thinking, guys? What's the planning? What's the thinking? Oh, we could do more hacking. See what we could figure out. Well, that was back in Godsdorf City. That was the um. He got arrested. Mm-hmm. So we could learn more about that, about David hacking into some computers. Learn more about. Well, he was well, working at the p- hospital, right? Who? Dave. Uh Dave was working apparently at uh, Godsdorf City Hospital. Yes. 
So do are we able to pull up on the computer, you know, uh, image records of people to compare who David was there with who David looked like back then with this picture? Well, yeah, you probably could. If that, that would be type of the type of records that the hospital would would have. The HR the HR department of the hospital would have. I mean, that's up to Kat to do. And Ben's away at the moment. Or, yeah, uh, Ben's, Ben's... I think that might be something to do just to make sure that David is David. Mm -hmm. You know, from here to there and into jail or whenever he was arrested. Mm -hmm. Well, he was arrested. He wasn't jailed. He was just arrested. On suspicion. Well, but was it David or was is there somebody else here now that's using his name or... Yeah, if we can even tell that by the picture, but well, yeah, again, you'd have to get into the records, and that would mean uh, yeah. a cat would have to do some hacking. They're talking about hacking into Gozov City Hospital and looking for uh, for um, rec the, the records of HR records of David and photos and things like that. So, are you up to that, Ben? You up to that, cat? Uh, I guess so. My level, it's, a level four. Five, it's effectively a level five to interface from here. Cool. Make sure you do it from some place you can run away. I, I don't think it would be something that's really hidden or, you know, no, it, no, it's no, like no, looking no, at no, a no, directory, no. you know. This is the uh, chief of staff and the picture of him and, you know. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be necessarily very, very highly secured, but it need, but because of the, because of your, it's on the other side of the planet, effectively, you're going to have to, do a lot of interfacing, and so we'll make it up we'll, uh, for interface. Oh, yeah, that, that regard, yeah. But yeah. I, like I said, I don't see it as being a, an illegal thing that they'll track back to us just because we're looking at pictures. Of oh, the you're going to have to. You, you are going. Well, no, not all the doctors will be listed, and, and you're going back several, several decades. So it would yeah. be it would be under secure. It would be secured. It wouldn't uh, be public okay. information. So it's up. What, it's up to you if you want to do something, cat or not. You know, it's up. It's up to you, mate. Why not? We need yep. some information. Okay. Nope. Nope. Is that using your CAS? Uh, your CAC, sorry? The, it would, it's only a plus 10 on the, the CAC, I believe. So it Fair still enough. wouldn't pass. It's still way off. No, it's not way off. You only missed by you only missed by uh, ten, eleven. Throw a blue All right. chip. Hey, sorry. I said use a blue chip. <laughs> use a blue chip. Okay. Wait. Um. So you actually you actually you actually do get um, connected, but it's a really dodgy connection. Okay. Okay, uh, I'll, uh, I guess. Yeah, it's just really slow, really whatever. So, um, um, HR records, if you that is, if that's what you're going to go, you, you need to get security. You need to get into the security rec security system. So you need to make your security roll. Uh, even with the penalties for the dodgy connection, you do manage to make you, you do manage to get through the security into the H hospital HR records. What are you looking for? Uh, I believe we were looking for a photo, weren't we? Of, we have a photo of from the teacher. Of David. Okay. So you're looking for David. You're looking for David Diva's uh, medical uh, uh, HR records. So that's an information role, of course. Okay. Um, yeah, you managed to you managed to get the records. Um, he was um, uh, uh, an intern for a while, and then became a resident, and then became a staff, one of the staff doctors. Um, uh, there Fine. is a, there is a photo. Um, it does look like an older version of the photo you have from Mrs. Applethorpe. Um, young man, young yeah, young guy. Um, uh, and uh, there, his his his. The last entry is basically a resignation. Uh, he, uh, his resignation, uh, re resignation, uh, gives the date 
uh, does not give a reason. Any information on the um, investigation or the accusations the, or the experimentations? Uh, no, um, uh, that'll be it. That'll, requ that, that'll re will require an extra an extra um, uh, info role, display info role though, please. Yeah, I thought it was. I was just basically I've been basing everything off that. Off that. Um, look, it's patchy. Um, there was uh, apparently um, a um, a patient uh, who happened to be of Rusk uh, died uh, after uh, routine um, routine uh, surgery. Um, uh, and uh, David was the lead surgeon. Um, there's not much record there. In in fact, Doc, can you give me just a, uh, a, a logic roll, please, Doc? Okay. You have suspicions that the record has been... Um, that there, there may there, 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 it's a type of it's a type of record that you would suspect may be there if there was um, the hospital was trying to protect its ass. Okay. Cat, uh, can you give me a, a, a spot check, please? Um, Curtis uh, Mayberry's records there too, if you want it. Now, looks like um, looks like cr doing a cross check between David's and Curtis's. Uh, both boys went to the same. Uh, the same university. Both of them got their degrees uh, from the same and studied under the same professors, and both of them were re re were residents and um, uh, um, interns and residents at the hospital. Um, there is no record. There's nothing in the record that said that 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 um, Curtis became a staff member at the hospital. Any link to the doctor who runs the sanatorium? Booth. Oh, that'll be that'll be a, that'll be a display info role. Boot. Doc Boot, yeah, Martin Boot. Absolutely nothing. Uh, the hospital has no records of Doctor Martin Boot at all, but that wouldn't be surprising if he's never served there. What do you want to do, guys? Actually, now that you look at it closely, Cat, there's no termination record for Curtis. That's interesting. Uh, there's simply an entry that says uh, says no longer on staff. Does but he still, still have paid? privileges? No, he's no. He does not have privileges. He's not getting paid. Um, uh, the resignation of David and the note that Curtis is no longer on staff are within a couple of weeks of each other. Uh, Curtis's is earlier. Hmm. Ignore Initiative? that. Initiative or intuition <laughs> or logic? No, no, that I I accidentally clicked it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool, mate. I'm joking. It's fine. I, I'm stirring you. 
So what do you, what do you want to do, guys? Anything else you want to look up? Anything you want to pr propose? Anything you want to do? Nothing from my side of things. Anyone else? I'm out of ideas. Well, I'm, I'm assuming everybody's out of ideas because no one's speaking up. So what would you guys like to do? The only thing I can think of is to scout the sanatorium, try and find out why it's closing down and break into its computers. Either that, yeah, that or would... dig up the, oh wait, they, they burned the body. I wonder if that's normal around here. No, it's not. You already know that. Yeah. Cremation is an incredibly, cremation is an incredibly rare I think it, it's not unknown, but it is incredibly rare on Qatar. Um, most bodies uh, cremated here are only when they are um, imposters. Uh, way, <laughs> way too damaged to uh, to have a public viewing with and things like that. And even then, it's pretty rare. It's just not uh, part of the culture. It's just generally not part of the culture. So uh, rare that rule. there's only one crematorium and we could pinpoint uh, it? Well, there's a crematorium in town, uh, but there isn't a crematorium in every town. It's part of the funeral home. So it does happen. It's just not, it's, it's just most people don't do it. I mean, it's less than, you know, it's less than 1% of the, of the, of the, of the it's less than one, less than half a percent of the burial, of the, of the funerals, you know. They don't even have, they don't even have in the cemeteries a wall, a, cre a crematorium wall, okay? That's how rare it is. Yeah. Mm. And I guess from our point of view, he could have been cremated here or back in Gozoff, right? We don't actually. You know, know. well, as far as everyone, as, as far as what you know, he was cremated here. The, the 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 coffin was flown in, and they cremated it at, at, as part of the ceremony, as part of the funeral ceremony here. I guess we could check the funeral home and if their records have anything strange, right? Mm -hmm. I, I don't expect them to have. Oh, burn this because the body's fake. No, <laughs> right? Oh gee, um, but I. Uh, that's the only other lead I can think of. Well, it's a level two computer if you do want to hack into it. Yeah, let's go for it. And only Maybe level one somebody security. strange paid for it. Ah, the old the old follow the money routine, eh? Um uh, no, the, from, from the records, I mean, apart from being the fact that crema cremations are unusual and the fact that the um, that uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mandela uh, insisted on it happening, um, there's nothing unusual in terms of uh, the records for the funeral. Um, it was a, it wasn't, it, w it was an average priced funeral in terms of cost. Um, the uh, the man, the man barons insisted on a close, a closed casket, casket before the cremation. Um, but apart from that, it was, you know. Who paid for it? Um, there's no one listed, but that's not that unusual. Um, the general indication would be the family would have paid for it in that case. I mean, I guess, you know, we could follow money. We could hack the bank and try to find out the family's finances. But I, again, all that's going to do is tell us what my paranoia already thinks. It's not going <laughs> to give us anything actionable. Mm. 
Anybody have any other ideas? Other than going back to the farm and being uh, a bit more intimidating. But that's probably it. Grenades? <laughs> I wonder if you could torture somebody with a tangler grenade. Well, technically you're tying them up, but I mean, how, could, how close could you get to them before you got you stuck yourself? I don't know, put one in their mouth and threaten to pull the pin? Yeah, I, I got a funny feeling Rick Rick security may not like you doing that. And if that report gets back to the inspector. Mm. Local heroes report. Tangler grenade stolen. <laughs> yeah, I don't quite think that's going to be the case, guys. Um... So you want to you want to tackle the sanatorium, do you? And that's how they or the bank. I don't think the bank is worth the risk. It's got to have a level six computer, right? It's a bank. Well, it's got to have level six security. I don't know about level yeah. six computer. Right. Yeah, it might only be a level two or level three computer, but it'll certainly have level six security on it. How how ping. long? How Sorry, long gone. do we have till the uh, sanatorium shuts down from the information that we have? Well, you've got a half... They, they, last week, they did a half shipment. And this week, they're doing a, well, a short shipment. And this week, they're doing... And then next week, they're doing a short shipment. So if they're getting food in in seven days' time, it's got to be a minimum seven days and then longer. Uh, we could hijack the food truck. Why bother? Why just why just why bother hijacking the food truck? Just go up there. Because we have there. to rent a vehicle to go up there. Oh god, you guys are fucking cheap. <sighs> Seriously. <laughs> Should have given us an extra ten thousand credit chip. Oh, go to hell! You guys are cheap. <laughs> You're as cheap as fucking Scotsmen. Well, Seriously. That's cause that's because of the way we started out. It's pretty good cover, for though. credits. So we'd have enough energy to shoot somebody. God, you got hire a bloody... thrifty, always thrifty. That's not... No, 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 no. You're not thrifty. You're tight. Tight and cheap is what you guys are. Frag okay. me. No, um, I don't know. Does anybody else? I have, I have no other leads except go to the sanatorium, and plan on raiding it. So I'm mean, sneaking in and getting into the computers at the minimum, trying to explore the laboratories. Um. Yeah, and I'm, I'm afraid that'll even be a dead end. But I don't know. Perhaps delay the food and see what happens. Nah, I think well, just you got go. If, if, you, if you're going, doing anything with the food or the food truck, you've got a seven-day wait on your hands. Yeah. All right. And and if you're talking cheapness, it'd be cheaper hiring an explorer for seven days than it will be to stay in the hotel for seven days. Yeah. The only and I guess the only other thing would be to go out to the Deaver farm. But they're dead, so that should be empty. Or Maybe sold. it's not empty. Or sold. Yeah. So you can well, check I those mean, you've records. Got, you've got you've got the rest. You've, well, you, you can check those records, and don't forget you're only around about midday. So you've got the you've got the rest of today to do something locally, or you can start on the way to the sanatorium. It's up to you. Well, why don't we check the the public sale records of the Deaver Farm? Okay. Well, you'll need to be, get back into the uh, the um, county computer. That's a level two computer, that one. And it's only got level one security. Ooh. Lol. Oh, yeah, with your CAC, you should make that. You said it was level two, right? Oh, I did too. No, I'm sorry. No, you, can't, you missed that. You couldn't get back in. By one sorry. percent. Yeah, bugger. About right, you're level four out of six and you still fail 75% of the time. This game's oh, great. Well. <laughs> well, you don't have your body comp upgrades yet, do you? They don't help. 
with this. I got my pocket supercomputer. Which helps with what? Engineering, nuclear engineering. Uh, Ooh, like alternative, plus, and, only, and, only and only gives you plus ten. Yeah, yeah. I've I've got the plus ten already. Still, that's it's it's that's one level of engineering. Uh, anywho, um, in that case, uh, no, you, you you I mean you 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 can't get into the sale records at the moment, unfortunately. Sorry. And how often has nuclear engineering screwed us over in the past? Well, it's responsible. It, it it made you guys responsible for the for the wiping out of the entire species. Yeah. So, what do you want to do, ladies and gentlemen? Anyone? I, I, I guess, guess head to the sanatorium, right, guys? Yeah, um, pretty much. Yeah, I don't see anything well, else. All right, so you're gonna take the you're gonna take the car back. Get an explorer. Hire yeah. and then get an explorer. How many days do you want to, want the explorer for? Well, I think you said it was a day and a half drive, right? It's about somewhere between two and a half and three thousand kilometers. An explorer can go what? Every you've got the sheet in front of you, someone. Vogue, did you have it up? Uh, I'm pulling it up. An explorer can go a cruise speed of 45 slash 75. Uh, 45 kilometers an hour. Unless you want to floor it and have to take rolls all the time. No. And it's not kilometers. It's 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 um. You'll find it's meters per second. Which. Uh, where are we? Yeah, cruise speed for an explorer is... Where did you get 45 from? I've got it as 90 kilometers an hour to 50 kilometers an hour. Oh, you must be looking at the other... Uh, the other I'm market. looking at cruise, not top speed. Yeah, it's 50 kilometers an hour. I just found it. For other reasons. <laughs> so, uh, 100, 100, 100 credits plus 250 credits a day. Uh, it's 50 kilometers an hour. Um, and it's about... Call it, th call it two, yeah, let's call it 3,000 kilometers there and back. What's that work out to be? Where's my calculator? <laughs> but yeah, I was hoping that wasn't meters per second because 45 meters per second is really fast. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to take you 60 hours to get there. So two and a half days. And two and a half days back. So you only have to need it for at least five days. Oh, well, we can book it for five and say we might need it for six or seven. But we'll pay for five right. and we'll pay for extra days if we use them. So it's a thousand, that's a, that's a, a, that's uh, 1,100 credits. Okay, so that's 200 each. And then yep. whoever's keeping the party can put a hundred back in the party. Okay. How much are, are you we setting up out for if somebody wrecks this thing? We have to pay for it. Uh, you're up for twenty grand. Actually, sorry, no, you're not. You're up for. Uh, hang on. So, and it's for twenty grand, yeah. No, 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 no. That's, that's list price. Dude. It's more here. Oh yeah. Thirty. Uh, you're up for twenty four grand if you if you if you wreck it. I mean, because given prior history, what we do here <laughs> is crash it, <laughs> and we make negative money out of this endeavor. I'm going to put set up a uh, bill for services, medical services, to the transportation company, to the monorail company. Uh, how how about, are you? Okay. Uh, twenty five thousand credits, please. Yeah, basically, you get a, a politely rewarded letter saying, go to hell. I'll be needing so a barrister. You... <laughs> so you want to hire a barrister, do you? Okay, I can organize that. On contingency, of course. 
They don't work contingency. They're smarter than ours. I'm mm -hmm. related to one. They always work for contingency. Not on this planet, they don't, dude. Sorry. All right, you still so... want to hire a lawyer? I have to imagine they wouldn't respond the same day. What, the lawyer? No, the medical company, or the transport company. Oh, of course not. Of course they wouldn't. All right, so, so by the time you get the, the... Sorry, go on. So let's head to the sanatorium. All right. So by the time you get the, the, all the paperwork done and all the rest of it, it's um, about mid-afternoon when you when you set out. Um, I'm also assuming you're buying yourselves a week's worth of uh, food and other supplies. Is there anything else you want to buy before you leave town? Like ammo or power packs or weapons or skin suits or... I'm going to need... 50 rifle bullet clips, uh, an assault, an uh, automatic rifle with a grenade launcher attachment, uh, a sling arm. Uh, what else do I want? All right, well, whatever is listed in the main rule book, you can have, right? But it costs you 20% more. Oh, you're, you're not joking? I can have an automatic rifle? If there's one in the, if there's one in the, uh, no, you can't have an automatic rifle. Sorry. Yeah, you know, regular, regular planetary rules apply. Damn. I thought I was about to get away with murder, mass murder. Yeah, mass murder. Which no, was basically pistols and non-lethal grenades, right? Pretty much. And anybody got the price on skin suits? I think it was two hundred, three hundred for military. Civilian? Personal defenses, skin suit military is 300. The web page still should be up, I'm hoping it is. Yeah, uh, the military is 300, civilians 5. And you said 20% on top of that, Matt? Yes, mate, 20%. I'm sorry, that's the prices, I'm afraid. Yeah, no, that's fine. And so the sanatorium's up in the mountains. Yeah. I will buy a grappling. You'll buy a grappling hook. So, I, from what I gather, you t you're, you're spending the rest of the afternoon shopping. Is that right? And then you yeah, head out tomorrow morning. Yeah, that's probably right. Okay, that's fine. So, there's all sorts of um, personal prog progets and that for personal computers and, <gasps> pardon me, and, and wearable computers. That, all that stuff is there. It just costs 20% more. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not upgrading my body comp here. Okay, I'm just saying. Not at that exorbitant price. Oh, well, yeah. You know, Qatar's not necessarily on the main trade routes. Yeah, you know, so. But we're going up in the mountains, and it's going to be hard to breathe, right? Uh, well, I'm assuming you've already got your. You've still got your breathing equipment. I'm assuming, but yeah. Yes, but the issue is having the tank. Well, the Explorer, the Explorer's got plenty of oxygen in it. As long as you keep it sealed, of course. Ten hours of oxygen per tank. Yeah, and each tank weighs five, Matt. Yeah, that's if you're going out. Is it, that's if you're going out outside the. I said the Explorer basically effective, effectively produces its own oxygen. Can't fill, can't refill a tank with it though. Damn it! Uh, I'll buy an additional tank. And just put it in the explorer. So I'll have two tanks on me. Anyone else buying stuff? What's the price on an albedo suit? One second. 
albeit a suit five hun. We still all have our power belts and our original screens, right? Assuming so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, they, they, at least they didn't get confiscated. Cool. No, no, your defensive stuff wasn't con wasn't con wasn't um, confiscated. So the pe fact that the sanatorium is closing down means that they're coming close to their end game. Yep. I don't know what their end game is, but... Well, they send out a next. signal and all the heads of the rusts blow up on planet, and now the planet has no more rust. Yeah, but that's assuming every rust has got a control circuit in it. Because it, don't forget, it wasn't just the... Sorry, let me rephrase that. It was an explosive circuitry. It was explosive, and it also had some 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 sort of other circuitry, which Cerise insists on it being called a control circuit. But it had a radio receiver, so it could receive a radio signal, and that radio signal could potentially say, "Hey, blow up." It could. But your demolition expert said it was more. Uh, it came to the conclusion it was more tampering than anything else. That it, that could not rule out. The radio signal could blow up, which is why Cerise insists on it being a control circuit of some sort. God knows why, apart from natural paranoia, or unnatural paranoia, as the case may be. Is everybody is everybody right? Everyone finished buying stuff? Are you still buying stuff? I'm done. I'm good. Yeah, mine's just the auto pistol, some ammo, and some skin scoot. The suits. Cool, cool. What about you, Doc? What about you, Babs? I'm good to go. That's all right. Okay. Um, so you have you spent your last night in Closet City, if you like, uh, and then set up. I set up the road to the sanatorium the next day. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, is uh, are you are you sealed into the Explorer uh, and strapped in, or is somebody hanging out the roof? No, strap in. Oh. Well, it's a relatively pleasant it's a relatively pleasant drive in the uh, considering the Explorer is a massive four wheel drive uh, up into uh, uh, along the uh, uh, the valley floor um, by night's fall. You have covered uh, about twelve hours worth. Of uh, which is about 600k, um, and um, I'm assuming you're going to I'm assuming you're going to pull the explorer over and set up um, set up uh, some camp. Is that right? Yep. Um, hang on a sec. As long as we can breathe. Well, you have the choice. Hang on. Uh, so one, two. What did I say? Uh, hang on. Sorry. Give me a sec. Uh, 12, about 600k. Yeah, you haven't started climbing out of the depression yet, so yes, you can make an outside camp, but you're, you're pretty close to the, your, your Toxirad gauges are reporting uh, within about an hour of travel, or not even that, maybe tomorrow, you're going to have to start using your breezes because it's going to get pretty thin. So um, you're under 10,000 feet, effectively, at the moment, just. Uh, so you can set up camp beside the road, if you like. Yeah. Um, is anyone standing watch, or are you just just setting up camp? Yeah, just just whatever. Yeah, we can yeah, go watch. Let's do a rotating watch. Everybody will stand yeah. one. All right. Well, nothing happens during the night, and the next day um, you clamber in and seal up and 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 drive on. Um, and yes, you, you, within an hour, um, the sensors are saying the oxygen levels outside are, are below what is needed to sustain. Uh, you guys, um, about an about a half an hour to an hour after that, um, you come across the lookout point 
that I told you about. There's no one around at the moment, but it's obvious that people use the, the lookout point looking over the, the Quartz Depression Sea. Um, and obviously people are jumping off and base jumping and paragliding and all sorts of things. Um, the, it's, it's obvious that this is the area that they use. There's a bit of a camping ground. Again, no one's here, but there are facilities, if you know what I mean. Does anyone want to use the facilities? Sure. I have a feeling I know how this is going to go. Um, well, uh, you you depressurize the um, uh, explorer, and everyone's got their masks on, and everyone visits the facility. Um, there's also um, there's also a, a, a rain tank uh, with a tap uh, nearby, not too far away either from the facilities. Uh, if you want to re refill your canteens and things like that. Yeah, I will. Yeah, okay. um, and so uh, you continue to head on, um, uh, and you climb steadily into the into the mountains. Uh, both uh, Voke and Cerise take their turns um, driving. Um, the scenery, the scenery is spectacular. It's spectacular mountain scenery, but um, you know. Um, as the road continues to wind its way into the mountains uh, to the south, what I say, southeast, uh, and um, as night falls, uh, as daylight, as darkness falls, you, you you drive another little bit, another, and so you get another twelve hours of driving in. Um, and by the time you pull up, it's dark. Um, you can outfit, you, you can lay seats down and fold down bunks in the Explorer, or you can camp outside. But if you're camping outside, you need some way of, of breathing. Uh, uh, I don't think anyone bought. I don't think you bought any survive, uh, high altitude survival tents, did you? No. no, no. And I think we want to stop well short so that they can't see our headlights. Who? The sanatorium. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Well, you still. Hang on, you, uh, what did I say? Sanatorium. Yeah. The way the way the way the right the, the road is winding, you you reckon you're, it's going to be at least until, at least tomorrow before you before you get you close, based on you know the GPS locations and where you where you think the the sanatorium is and all the rest of it. And whoever's on watch can sit up front and watch the night sky for landing shuttles. Sure. Sure. Yep, with uh, all our fancy. Case, yeah, in that case, each of you can give me a spot check, please. Ah, uh, not me. Fail. Is that each of us? Yeah, yeah. Each, well, each of you are on watch, aren't you? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, looks like only stars. Uh, yeah, no, who has been all out? Unless Jay, Jazz? Jazz, Jazz, you, Jazz hasn't rolled yet. There's Jazz's yeah. roll. Uh, no, 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 none of you spot any lights uh, in the night sky. Um, apart from the moon, the, the two moons, and outgoing shuttle. Uh, sorry, outgoing shuttle from the starport to make, sure, make that dead, dead clear. In other words, it's incredibly high up. There's no way it came from anywhere local. Okay? Okay. Cool. Uh, next morning, um, uh, you pack up or whatever uh, and set off again. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, well, um, uh, some of the dry, some of the road gets a bit narrow on some of the bits and pieces, but you do you do estimate you're getting uh, quite close to the sanatorium. You reckon you're uh, by about mid-afternoon, you reckon you're about 150K still short, about three hours. So you should get there by about six-ish if you continue your current pace. Now you said you wanted to slow down when you got somewhere nearby. Is this at the, is this at the point you're slowing down, or is um, or uh, uh, you, uh, you you're going to continue on at the current current pace, or, or what do you want to do basically? Well, we want to make sure that we don't have that they can't see our headlights. So I don't know where. Um, I mean, if we're dry, if we have our headlights, if it's gotten dark yet, I'm more worried no, about getting No, mid afternoon. No, not yet. Mid afternoon, not yet. The other thing, want to keep an eye out for: are there any 
Do we notice any cameras or sensors along the route that are watching us? Uh, you or haven't we... spotted any yet. Do you want to start looking? Yeah. Actively looking? Yeah, whoever's not driving will look. Okay. Uh, just give me a second. I'm just trying to work out what's, what I'm looking at here. Uh, da, 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 da. What the hell? Hang on a sec. Just give me guys. Just give me a second, guys. Uh, that's, that's, uh, 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 Make sure I know what I'm doing before I lead you astray. Unless you want to be led astray. You want to be led astray? We haven't been led astray. Woo! Not yet. I'm trying to work out how this all fits. Oh, I've got it. Yeah, 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 I've got it. There it is. Okay, yeah, that's that. That yeah, right, got it. Sorry. Um, yeah. So um, it's about three in the afternoon, as I said. Um, you re you estimate you're still about three hours short at your current pace of fifty kilometres an hour. Um, you guys tell me when you want how, how close you want to get before you slow down, stop, or otherwise. Um, from our map, can we estimate what the or or I would say once it gets to evening, we'll definitely stop at the most. Uh, um, and then can we estimate from the um, map when we would be visible? Um, you probably could. Um, what you'd need would be... Um, Uh, no one's got any cartography or anything. Or actually, anyone got a skill like cartography or survival or anything else like that that you think might be relevant to determining um, how far you are on the map with the topolo with the topographical map that you uh, have? I think generated. Jazz might have something. Uh, you could also, by the way, just just for edification, you could also, if you had a sat dish, a sat nav dish, uh, which you actually do have as part of your general kit, I believe, Cat, you could pr try cracking into the uh, the local one of the local um, overhead satellites and getting a, a getting a GPS slash uh, photo of the of the of the area if you like. No, I don't see any skills Jazz has. Jazz has. In that case, it's straight. It, 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 depending on if Cat can be can get some photos of the area uh, from the sat nav overhead sat nav system. Jazz has um, customized the sheet, and deleted everything yeah. that he doesn't plan on using. Uh, um, what was that? Is that an interface? It's definitely an interface. You, gotta, you have to hack, hack into the onboard computer. Um, you're looking again. I'm afraid you are looking at a level, effectively level five, because going through the sat nav system is a pain in the ass. But you make it look so bloody easy; it's not funny. Uh, so you've got. Okay, what you see, uh, the road, um, the, the the sanitarium sticks out 
like a bit of a sore thumb. It's on the side of a cliff. All right. So what it looks like, what it looks like to you from from the overhead photos and that, you, you can't see much of, um, uh, uh, detail as such. But what you can see is um, a what appears to be a a, a semi a, a dome, a, a semi a hemisphere that half is on the cliff and half overhangs the cliff. All right. Um, you can get a slight side angle, and it appears that there are a couple of levels on the side of the cliff below the dome that, that and the dome has pylons going into the rock. So, uh, so uh, it looks like the, 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 the first level for, for, for the argument's sake is the dome and it's half on the cliff and it's got some outbuildings or some extra buildings and the dome itself. And then under at least the half of the dome that's hanging out over the cliff, there's at least one there's at least two levels below that, maybe three. Um, it's, it's, it's hard to tell exactly uh, because the angle's not great, um, but you can, that's what you can see, okay? Um, um, yeah, so there, the, there's a dome uh, on the top. There's a, there's, a, there's a wing to the left and a wing to the right, and there's, a, there's at least two levels below the dome. Now, whether they go all the way into the cliff or whether they're hanging, just hanging on the cliff, side it's hard to tell and the cliff is not 90 degrees it's it's about 80 it's pretty steep um you would you, you'd want climbing gear to climb the cliff um there's a drop um oh it's a good 500 feet below the lowest level of the sanatorium to um the road now you guys have been traveling more or less uh, east southeast uh the road snakes its way and where it passes under the cliff the first time, um, it's about um, uh, it's, it's 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 about 500 feet or so by estimation uh, below the cliff, and it travels. Um, where it looks like the road travels west, uh, east to west, and then it snakes and curves its way up, and it, it enters the um, uh, a, a bit of a, a parking platform on that on that first level outside the outside the the dome. Okay, um, the the road below the first level is about a thousand feet below uh below that again um uh, and it's it's traveling obviously west to east and then snakes east to west and then you, so you, do you get the picture i'm painting for you yeah okay so that's what you see from the on the savnet photos now based on that information the savnet photos you managed to pull up um, it's a half logic role to work out how far away from uh, away you from you, you are based on the top of the topological maps that you have, the photos you have, and, and, and what you know so far. So somebody can give me a half logic role. Uh, sorry, cat. I'm gonna have to. The other thing I can tell you um, is that. Um, just as a general, a general rule, um, a general idea um, is that the uh, the way the sanitarium is situated on this cliff edge, it's got a pretty damn good view to the east, the west, and the south. There are some mountain peaks between where you are right now and the sanatorium. That's obvious. Um, but uh, without any, an accurate, I said half logic, as I said, um, you, 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 the best you can estimate is approximately two, uh, an hour to two hours short. If um, for lights, for, for, seeing, for seeing the lights at night. Um, the in the daytime, you could probably get a lot closer because the lights wouldn't show as far. The um, structure... Does it look like it is, um, shall we say, durable or could double as a military hard point? Uh, oh, the dome, you mean? Yeah, and any other pretty, structures? It, uh, well, there's a, the wing. I mean, the, there's always the roof of the wings on the first level, and you don't know what's on the second level, uh, second end or third or, or fourth or fifth, how many of them are, because it's hard to see. Um, there's a lot of it, 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 what you can see is a lot of glass. Only it's probably not glass. It's probably Durasteel, uh, transparent Durasteel. Um, and being a, being so far high up, 
it, it's obviously for oxygen. Okay, uh, keep the oxygen. You know, um, there are you can you can think you, 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 looking at the photos closely. You think you can see a few plants inside the dome, which would again would lead its way to making it. A, well, don't forget it's supposed to be a sanatorium for stress. So you you expect to see things like uh, plants and viewing platforms and and you know places to relax and fountains and soft music playing if you could hear you know that type of thing you know, it's, it's a stress it's a stress sanatorium so anything to relieve stress would be would be there you know what i mean would be the type of thing so the plants that you can see the plants that you can see or if they are plants you can see through the dome are on the over the, the part hanging out, out over the cliff so again it leads its idea to this view, views of calming relaxed areas where you know where the patients can relax okay and as i said because because the dome it's it, it because the domes um it's probably durasteel transparent durasteel um crystoplast something like that to help keep it you know um airtight is what i'm looking for uh, so it doesn't look like anybody made their role, unfortunately. So the best you can estimate, as I said, is somewhere between an hour and two hours short at night for lights, and you get a lot closer in the day. So um, you're about a, you're about two and a half hours away now. So you're still technically undercover, and it's still daylight hour. So what do you guys want to do? Well, but we don't have. It's only like another hour of daylight, right? Oh, and that's about two and a half hours of daylight. You, you, you'll get to the sanitarium, especially up here in the mountains, uh, probably an hour short of daylight. Sorry, uh, I was... Uh, yeah, yeah. I was uh, daylight probably. Yeah. Uh, daylight's daylight's um, probably three hours away, and you're about two and a half hours short. But I think I did make my logic at half. Did you? Yeah. Sorry, okay. I, I didn't yes. roll because I was... No, 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 that's good. Okay, uh, Voke manages to uh, actually pinpoint the point on the map uh, where you'll become visible, where, where you'll have direct, direct line of sight to the to the sanatorium. Um, and as I said, it's about it's about uh, two hours and twenty two minutes short of the sanatorium. That's at night. I mean, if someone happens to be looking your way with 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 binoculars, they'll see you during the daylight. But at night, that's where the light will. That's when the light of your explorer will become visible to the sanatorium. If anyone's watching. Well, I'm thinking we should probably get there in the morning, spend the day observing, and and the first night observing. Um, okay. So I'm thinking, you know, stop short and then continue in the morning. Well, if you're going to stop short, then you probably should stop shots short around about now. Yeah, give or that's take what I'm five to ten minutes. Yeah, so is, is that is that's the case? There there is there is a place slightly wider on the road where you could pull over in case anyone's following you or comes down the road at you during the night. I can't see anyone happening because you haven't seen any. There hasn't been any traffic for since since since, since basically you left the, the outskirts of the city. Oh, the satellite view that we got. Yeah. Was there any it? landing pad for a shuttle? Not that you could see. Or in the surrounding areas? Not that you could see. Okay. Now, just, just for your own edification, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, Uh, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. The dome... Hang on, that's not right. Uh, the dome appeared to be about 50 metres in diameter. Okay? And the two wings, which obviously stick out from the dome on the cliff face, were a further... A, a further 15 metres either side. Okay. Give you a rough idea of the size. Is it reasonable to think that the dome is retractable? 
I wouldn't expect so. Um, okay. You're an awful, awful long way up into the thin out, thin atmosphere here. There ain't no, you know, even even the, even the local natives who would need breathing apparatus to get out you know, outside the dome, or if the dome was breached or whatever. So I can't. It doesn't seem to be from the photos you have, uh, particularly, you know, a retractable dome. Although it does seem to be cut in half. Um, you know, the half hanging out over the cliff seems to be a large open area, and the other half seems to be enclosed buildings. Not all of them enclosed, but some enclosed buildings. Okay. Um, some of the, 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 what you have tentatively identified as the reception area, or the, the, the entrance area is open to the dome. Um, and obviously, you know, the, the garden area hanging over, the garden area, if that's what it is, hanging out over the cliff is mostly open to the, open to the, the, the dome. But some of the wing buildings actually go into the, the dome and you can't see into them. I mean, you can see their ceilings, but that's about all you can see. And, and, and this is all speculation because it's not a very high-res photo. All right? Um, you're, not, you're not even sure if the greenery, you're, if the green things you're seeing in the garden area, inverted quotes, are actually plants. They're green blurs. So it's, it's a bit of speculation and, and logic no. and thinking that, that that's that may be they may be plants and that may be a garden area because of the, the purpose of the building, All right? But they're green blurs. All right, the pixelation is not that good. Okay. So you you doing a standard watch, two man watch, one man watch? One man. All right. Anything, anyone want to do anything over during the night in particular? Anyone want to try any more hacking or anything like that? Uh, no. No? Okay. All right, guys. Listen, that's a very good place. That is a very good place to leave it for obvious reasons because um, we've gone for hours and um, – have we gone for – yeah, we have, we've gone for hours and it's a good place to leave it. So has anyone got any objections if we wrap it up there? Nope. Nope, nope. Sounds good. All right, guys, thanks for playing. Thanks, for, uh, everybody. Um, I enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, you are making progress, even if you, you do seem to be uh, – think, you, even if you do think you are stumbling in the dark, you are actually making progress. It's quite good. Um, uh, if you get your roll those um, credits, thanks, Ryan, and we'll see everybody next week. Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape, and Twitch. And of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you. <laughs>